everybody, and welcome once again to Arcade Alphabet Soup. Happy Sunday, guys. We are, uh, well, we are here for our Sunday night show, everybody. For those of you who have not seen what Arcade Alphabet Soup is, it's quite simple. We spin on the wheel, land on a letter, and we all basically vote or decide on a game to play beginning with that letter. We usually do this for a few hours. It's a pretty good time, nice casual show to end the week, and also an opportunity uh, to see a lot of arcade games that you uh, don't normally see. So I hope you guys all enjoy today. We got Shawnee Clark, we got Chris here. Susan, lovely to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for coming in. We got Jamar's happy Sunday to you. Actually, Monday morning here. But you know what? I'll celebrate Sunday with America. Hey, you on Larry, Francesco, Ollie, good to see you. It's been okay, not that eventful, but decent. It's been all right. Yeah, no, my weekend's been good, thank you, just not exciting. How you going, Kent? That's my fault, I've got no one to blame but myself for that. All right, let's go the wheel. Let's spin the wheel, and uh, let's see what letter we're gonna be doing with today. How you going there, Joshy? <laughs> We're going to end with the letter Z. What's an arcade game you want me to play beginning with the letter Z today, everybody? Jeez, man, we have to go all the way down the bloody page for that. Well, what's an arcade game beginning with the letter Z? Let's see what we got. How you going, Timmy Barker? Good to have you. Thank you very much for coming in. Ollie says, me too, just did chores around the house and watched Halloween movies. Yeah, you know, bro, you could have had worse weekends, huh? Going down to the letter frickin' Z. There's so many freaking games here, it's ridiculous. How you going, Anthony? Good to see you. I was gonna do Zaxxon, but uh, the game doesn't work properly. Zero Wing. Let's try Zero Wing, since no one else picked. Oh, Zero Wing doesn't work either. What's, what's the zigzag business? I might have to take Z off the wheel. What's the Viga? Let's try out the Viga. What the fuck is that? This is the first game. I have no idea what the Viga is, everybody. The Viga. Oh, it's a spaceship game. All right. Well, let, let's see how this plays. The Viga, everybody. 1984. The, the Viga. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, Z and Y probably off the wheel. There's not enough games on those letters. There you go, this is uh, this is Zigger everybody. what I just do? Why am I blowing up? That's interesting, I'm trying to work, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, dude, is that it? Yeah, one, I'm glad that game's over, fuck that game. All right, cool. Yeah, we're taking letter Z and letter Y off the wheel. Well, actually, uh, yeah. No, we'll keep Y on there. Zed's going off the wheel. Fuck that. Alright. Let's spin the wheel again. Jeez, man. What a horrible start to Arcade Alphabet Soup. Alright. Um, that's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, let's spin again. See how we go. Francisco, I'm alright. What do we got? D. Alright guys, pick an arcade game with the letter D. No, I will do what the wheel fucking tells me to do. You obviously didn't listen to the rules, Neil. The rules are we spin on a letter and then we pick a game beginning with that letter. We don't just play whatever we freaking feel like or it defeats the purpose of the name of the freaking show. My god. Anyway, what would everyone like to see with the letter D? So we got one vote for Double Dragon. And uh, one for Dig Dug. Double Dragon, Dig Dug. There you go. No one's really engaging with the stream today. And uh, what do we got? Double Dragon, Dig Dug. Yeah, th thank you for all picking, guys. I guess I'll just pick myself today. That's all right. We got one for Double Dragon 2, one for Donkey Kong Jr. All right, Double Dragon it is. All right, let's see how we go. Put the easy dips on too, just to make sure it runs nice and clean. Actually, 
think this is the one that I got working last time. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is it. Cool. No worries, we got it. Most people vote for Double Dragon. Majority rules. Hey, you going, Nigel? Good to see you. That would have been a good one. Die Hard Arcade. I haven't played that in a hot minute. Don't worry, we're going to split, uh, spit on most letters more than once, so you'll be fine. You've got plenty of time. Crap. Francesca, do I have the arcade version of Dragon Ball, do I? Yeah. I'll have to look. I didn't realise I had an arcade Dragon Ball here. Give me one second. So Francisco says trying to get rid of a headache. I hope you feel better soon, guy. I hope you feel better soon. Sorry to hear you're not feeling too well. Thomas Wong, nice to see you. And uh, it's a pleasure, my friend. Thank you for being in here. So could we suggest either Final Fight 1, 2 or 3? Well, you can suggest Final Fight 1. Final Fight 2 and 3 is Super Nintendo games. Uh, technically, there is a coin-operated version of Final Fight 2. Um, that's a big technicality, because it's just a port of the Super Nintendo game. Uh, hey, you going, Justin? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Don't forget, any games you pick uh, are subject to availability, so if you try to be, like, too clever, well, you're just going to screw it up for yourself. Also, I'll have to let you know when we spin on a letter what's not available. Like, Daytona USA doesn't work on uh, this emulator, unfortunately. But I'll do that game for you elsewhere another time. Alex, thank you for the 200 stars. I appreciate you. Alex, this is for you, my guy. Um, all right, here it is. Thank you very much, bro. Really, really appreciate that. Alex with a big uh, 200. Yeah, it's Arcade. Hey, you going, Ryan? Good to see you. And uh, we got Colin in here. I know you like your Parodius, my friend. We also got Sexy Parodius, which is the very suggestive game. Sexy Parodius. That game is... Uh, that, that game borderlines on the porn without being porn. <laughs> it's like using your imagination on that game. Any of you played Sexy Parodius before? The, the enemies kind of look like private parts without being private parts. Anyway. Hey, go on, NCR. Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. Welcome to the stream. And as I said, we're doing this show tonight in both Facebook and YouTube. Now, we just, we just play these games one credit at a time. You have the choice uh, to add an extra credit for a small fee, but be careful because someone can change the game uh, at any time. How you going, Patrick? Good to see you, my guy. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for moving in here. How's everything going, Patrick? Patrick, Patrick and Pecky in the house. Colin says, please play Sexy Parodius. Yeah, maybe when I spit on the letter S, Colin. Motherfuckers aren't good at listening to the rules today. <laughs> Guys, I, I would recommend... I explained the rules at the beginning, but I would recommend reading the description. Uh, yes, we have to have rules in this show for it to work. Hey, you going, Chris? Good to see you. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Man, I've been playing a lot of Double Dragon lately. Hopefully that'll actually help me. I, I forgot what the jump button was. There you go. You're a, you're a Double Dragon noob, Rick. An absolute Double Dragon noob. So, NCR says, what am I having for lunch today? Probably a chicken pesto, actually. I've, got, I've still got some healthy meals in the fridge, so I'm probably going to have uh, one of my healthy chicken pesto pre-made meals. So, 20, you, you're calling 22 degrees Celsius warm. That's crazy, man. Like, 22 degrees Celsius here is like spring, uh, or like end of winter, early spring weather here in Australia. We're in the springtime right now, and we're back up to 27, 28 degrees. Oh my gosh, really? Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? That's a bit rough. Elbow all day, yeah, man. I'm all about that elbow life. And so Colin says, have I ever played Final Doom? Yeah, I always found that game pretty hard, too. Just, um, you know what I think it is, Colin? 
everyone's memorized at least one episode of Doom and how to get around, but yeah, you know, it's a little bit harder to follow the maps in Final Doom, I think. Forgotten Worlds. Yeah, I can play Forgotten Worlds, although uh, the controller's not really well set up for a dual stick shooter. But uh, we'll give it our best shot. I can, as I said, I can do Forgotten Worlds. But uh, just keep in mind uh, that that game was made for uh, arcade controls, not a controller. So let's just keep that in mind. I don't know. I can play it, but I don't know how well I'll do. How you going? We got Bill the Hammer Del Rio in here. Good to see you, man. How you going, Bill the Hammer Del Rio? Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you're having a, a great stream journey yourself, my friend. Happy weekend. You think that one enemy looked like Razor Ramon? Man, I tell you what, I mean, a lot of the enemies in beat em ups I remember in the late 80s, early 90s were freaking based off either rock stars or professional ref, uh, wrestlers. That was a very common thing. Let's get this ball. There we go, we got, is he dead yet? No. Dude, he's pretty good at avoiding that baseball back, gonna give him credit. And uh, Damien says the PlayStation version of Final Doom had a level like a nightclub with an insane track for music. Sometimes music really can make a, a, an average game even better, huh? Like for real. I'll give you an example of this, Goonies 2 on the NES. The game is kind of average, but you could play that game all day long just to listen to the music. Sometimes a, a soundtrack can make an average game good. Hey, how you going, Patrick? Good to see you. Shawnee Lamoth's in here. Thank you very much for hanging out, guys. Welcome to our very cruisy, laid-back, arcade alphabet sh loop show, everybody. I could hardly talk. I haven't had my daily coffee yet, but I do have my, uh... I do have my beverage right next to me. Hopefully I'll start talking coherently after a few sips. Thomas says, what do I think about Life Force? I think it's a very good game. I'm not one that's into bullet hell games. But I do think Life Force is a must play for anyone that's into bullet hell games. Sure. You know, games like Gradius, Life Force, uh, R-Type, they, they kind of, I suppose, set the standard for the 80s horizontal shooter. Obviously, some other ones came around afterwards, like UN Squadron and stuff, but I'm just talking about the ones from the 80s. And, uh, are we 94 people strong in here? The fuck am I doing with 94 people in here? I'm an asshole. Well, thank you everyone for coming in to watch this asshole today, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate you coming by. You might enjoy beating... Ah, uh, I don't think so, NCR, because, uh... Is that the one that has shots of, like, whiskey? Because I had Thai iced coffee, and Thai iced coffee has, uh... Actually, no, I'm getting confused, actually. I might like Vietnamese iced coffee. I've had Thai coffee before, and that's basically coffee that's got, like, whiskey in it. And uh, you think that would be delicious, but it really isn't. How you going, Jermaine? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. We got Rich Richard in here. Welcome to the stream. No whiskey? Okay. I'm getting confused then. Yeah, because I, I had one of them special Thai coffees. And yes, uh, it wasn't... Uh... Yeah, I'm getting confused. Thai coffee and Irish coffee apparently is very similar. You still want to see me play Crystal Castles? We uh, Well, we can give that a go at some point. I'm sure we'll end up getting on Crystal Castles eventually. And there you go. No worries, Richard. Richard, thank you for the 200 stars. This is for you, buddy. Thank you. That's what I mean. Like, I, the island and Thailand do the same thing, essentially. Delicious eye. Thank you, man. I'll definitely try that out. Vietnamese coffee. 
I wonder if you can get that at a Vietnamese restaurant here. I've got uh, Vietnamese restaurants. I've probably got about four or five within uh, walking distance of my uh, apartment. In the winter time, first really popular here. So uh, yeah, I should see if uh, I should see if I can get one. Yeah, buddy has a rare 1991 Vendetta arcade machine. That's pretty cool, bro. That's um, that's a good game. That's a good game, but a typically hard Konami game. Hey, if we land on the letter V, anything is possible, my friends. Oh, thank you, Tom's. All right, Viet coffee is strong. All right, I, I do like strong coffee. Coffee. I don't forget, I. I drink coffee less for the taste and more for the functionality. Dude, come on! I did, oh, dude, fucking, I just almost screwed this, guys. I'm so sorry. Especially since I can only play with one credit. I didn't do it on purpose. This is like one of the first games I've played today and I'm making lots of really stupid mistakes. Hey, go, Woody, good to see you in here. Thank you for coming back in. You wonder how many times I'm going to land on W tonight. Well, we'll see what happens. I did land on multiple letters last week, didn't I? We've got Johnny in here. Bung Mi, yeah, bro. Bung Mi's great. For those of you who don't know, Bung Mi is like a Vietnamese pork roll. And, uh, yeah, they make a really good one across the road. I haven't had one in a while. But, yeah, bro, that's what's up. If you go to West Sydney, they're everywhere. Well, West Sydney's kind of known for uh, Vietnamese culture and like you can get bung mi like everywhere. Like they have pop-up places for that stuff down there. We got Matthew in here, good to see you. We got, uh... oh there we go, we got the Tulsa King in here. How you going bro? <laughs> we got Big Mark in here, thank you for coming in Mark, welcome to the stream. We, we got our friends in here tonight from Ho Chi Minh City, and we also got the Tulsa King, everybody. Hey, Nick, a big freaking congratulations, bro. You deserve more than that. You're, you're really good at the game, and it's just uh, sometimes... Uh, I, I think you just got in at the wrong time, because it's fucking hard right now, bro. As I said, the times we're setting now would have gotten us victories two weeks ago. Like, it's just incredible how hard that game has gotten. I mean, congratulations, bro. I bet that's a big chip off your shoulder. Yeah, man. Did, what did you guys think of uh, Fastlane? All right, I have to move on unless someone wants to put a credit in after you. I think that's it. Sorry I didn't get further, guys. I made a couple mistakes falling off ledges and stuff. Like, three times, actually. All right, let's go back to the wheel and we'll spin again. No problem. What do we got this time? Uh, the letter S. Jeez, man. All right, pick a game with the letter S. Now, I don't mind if you pick Simpsons, but keep in mind we did play Simpsons last week. I do encourage you guys to be adventurous, but I mean, if you want Simpsons, we can still do Simpsons. But uh, yeah, pick an arcade game beginning with S. Oh, there you go. We got one for Shadow Warrior, one for Salamander. Shadow Warrior is interesting. Strider, Star Fox, arcade games, NCR. Arcade games, not Super Nintendo games. We got two for Strider so far. Three for Strider, two for Super Contra. Uh, oh my gosh. Guys, I, okay, look, you know what? I'll do Strider, but I can't Strider myself out of a freaking paper bag, everybody. Like, this is probably not going to last very long. Let me, let me add it, let me change the difficulty to easiest and add more lives. It's the only chance I've got. I'm very nervous about this one. This game is hard as balls. This makes Ghosts and Goblins look like kindergarten. All right. Yeah, we're going to do Strider. Hey, you going, Max T Million? Good to see you. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Hang on one second. There's a credit. Channel, you're in the futuristic... I guess so. Ugh. Oh. 
We're wearing like futuristic Russia. Oh look, we're in Moscow. All right, let's go. Try to memorize all the buttons here. All right, well, at least we have a health bar. Good morning, Joseph. Thank you for coming in. Mikey, I said, uh, I mean, I look, I, I said arcade games, not Nintendo. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. This is arcade alphabet soup. You guys are not picking Nintendo games. You're not picking Sega games. You're not picking Atari games. You're not picking TurboGrafx games. This is arcade games. Any game that I have available from 1995 and beforehand that you can put coins in, I will try and play for you. It's coin-operated machines. <laughs> hey, go on, Nikki Winfield. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate ya. Oh, wait, Oklahoma has a murder capital? Really? Maybe, maybe you're safe in Oklahoma as long as you don't go looking for trouble. There's a thought. Let's see what this one does. Astroida. Yes, I pronounced it Astroida, you fuck. Let's go. Hey, you going, Capri? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much for coming in. Did I just die? I don't even know how I died that time. Alright, we gotta get a move on here. At least the checkpoint system in this is relatively generous. This is on easy difficulty. I'm probably gonna last like two seconds. But yeah, Nikki Winfield, I hope you're doing good. Thank you for hanging out today, buddy. Alright, cool, we made it. Now where are we gonna go? Look at this big Adonis guy. Alright, well we made it out of there. And so Josh says, how do I rate fast lane? You know what? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It does lose a point because I honestly thought the main event was a great opportunity for uh, Damien Priest to cash in and it didn't happen. And, and that really annoys me. So... But uh, that's my own personal bias. Uh, I thought Carlito finally coming back to the full-time roster was a nice surprise. I thought all the matches were pretty solid. I'll give it. I'll give it a seven between a seven and a half and an eight. Yes. Yeah. Now, what about you? What do you guys all think of Fast Lane? Yeah, it was a hard. All right, we got this. Have I ever played Crime Fighters? Yeah, I've played Crime Fighters on the channel. I'm not very good at Crime Fighters, but you can certainly pick that today and we can give it our best shot if you wish. I do like the first half of the game and then it gets ridiculously difficult and unfun to play, I think. No, that's okay. And uh, congratulations, Jason. It's all good. Everyone's got their own priorities, bro. It's fine. How do I get out of here? Oh, I've got to jump up this way, and then I go down this way. Okay, I get it. All right, we got this. Hey, you going, Richard? Sorry if I'm missing any comments, guys. This game is bloody hard, eh? This game is so freaking hard. I wish I knew how to kill this thing. I think, yeah, I think you just have to stand in this beside the thing, don't you? There we go. Oh my gosh, we actually passed a level today. That's an absolute miracle. Doesn't sound uh, weird. Everyone's got their own story. Yeah, this is a famous game. I don't know if it's famous for the right reasons, but yeah, this is a famous game. This is Strider. This is actually a pretty well-known game. This is... One game people love me to play that I never put on because I suck at it. So this is why Arcade Alphabet Super is actually pretty good. You get you get to see a lot of games on this show that I don't normally play, like Strider here, for example. Even if I only last for two seconds. 
Yeah, man, I, I think they did a pretty good job of making Shinsuke look incredibly strong in that, too. I think he probably... Sh I mean, look, you know what? They don't see him in the world title picture, and that's fine. At least they didn't make him look weak. I think the fact it was kind of like a Rocky 2 ending to the main event. They were both down, and Seth was the one that only just got up in time. I kind of like the Rocky 2 ending. It made both people look pretty strong. So, uh... Yeah, no, it was fine. I'm, I'm not offended by the ending of that, actually. How's my girlfriend? Moe's really, really good, thank you. She's, uh, she's actually, uh, wanting to grow some plants today. So she's, uh, hunting some seeds and stuff, and... Just looking for some new hobbies. Hey Ricky, uh, I was at friends last night. They bought a Super NES bundle. My bud's kids are playing F Zero and Super Castlevania. There you go. It's amazing how good those games are, especially since they came out pretty close to our launch. Sorry everyone, I'm absolutely freaking horrendous at this game. And so Woody says if I spin on the letter M, he's got to. I have no doubt. I trust you. I, I have no doubt. No, not those kind of plants, David. Don't get too freaking excited, brother. <laughs> She's not a dope smoking hippie. She hates the shit. Alright, let's spin the wheel again. Alright, we got the letter K. Alright, what, what's everyone want with the letter K? You watch these smart asses pick kangaroo. Oh, Rick, please, you, you're from Australia. Play kangaroo. Uh, kangaroo. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone picked kangaroo. I'm just saying. We got one for Killer Instinct. And uh, Karate Kid. Karate Kid is not an arcade game, Rob. As I said, arcade games, my friend. We got a couple for Ki Ki King of Fighters, King of Dragons, Knights of the Round. We did do Killer Instinct last week. Uh, so I would rather do something different. I would rather do something different, but hey, everyone's... Fucking hell, you guys just keep picking the same games every week. Alright, I'll humor you. No, no originality here, but that's fine. Put in a credit. See how we go. Only character I know how to use uses Jargo. Give you more volume here. Gotta remember all the buttons here. Give me a sec. Furlong, please. We're all creatures of habit. Yeah, don't I fucking know it. <laughs> How you going, Nigel? I loaded your thank you screen, by the way. Thanks, you legend. Alright. How you going, Kevin? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's okay. You guys have the right to pick what you want. This this, this arcade uh, alphabet suit's basically turning into the same games every fucking week. Alright, let's go. Have you used to play Cliffhanger based on the cartoon Lupin the Third? I don't know the cartoon to tell you the truth, so I guess I haven't. Gosh, man, I'm probably gonna lose already. This is embarrassing. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? We might land on the letter K again and you can pick something else because we're only allowed to play each game once. There we go, we got this. Cool, we made it. And so Josh says the women's title match was too predictable. Worst match of the night. I, I don't know, because Charlotte took the pin. I honestly thought Asuka would take the pin. Did didn't Charlotte take the pin? Big thank you once again for coming in. As I said, just in case you've just come in, guys, this is Arcade Alphabet Soup. Uh, it's a pretty simple concept, guys. All we do is spin on the wheel. We'll land on a letter. And uh, you guys can help me pick a game to play on that letter. It's just like a big variety show so you can see a lot of different games. And, uh, 
yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be here for probably about a few hours, and uh, yeah, hopefully we have a good time today. How's everything been going, Mikey? I hope you're looking after yourself. Should be a little bit less cranky once this uh, coffee, once this uh, coffee kicks in. Uh, I would, I wish I had someone else in this house to make me a second one. Hey. Can I do more Super Monaco Grand Prix? Oh, I will put that on from time to time. It, it's not a, it's not a popular enough game to play frequently. But uh, I could probably be selfish enough to play it once a month or once every other month. Sorry, guys, I got owned. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. All right, let's spin the wheel again. You gotta remember the arcade versions are so much harder than the console versions. Alright guys, you legends, pick an arcade game beginning with B. Have you gotten an English breakfast in a while? No, I had my cheat day this weekend, which was Subway cookies and Subway. So I can't have a cheat day until next weekend. And uh, hey going, Robert, good to see we got one pick for Bubble Bobble. Again, I can do Bubble Bobble, but we did play that last week. I mean, okay, I guess we are creatures of habit. I'm going, to, I'm going to start overruling some of these decisions if we all keep picking the same games every week. We got one for Berserk. Uh, boy, oh, damn it. I don't know what people don't understand about arcade games only. What do we got? Here we go back to the main screen. Bomberman does have an arcade version. Bubble Bobble. We got a couple for Berserk. Bad Dudes. Uh, fa that's actually Fatal Fury, I think, uh, Joshua, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Bomberman. So we got a couple for Berserk, a couple for Bomberman, a couple for Bad Dudes. What do we got? One for Batman, two for Batman. So we got a whole bunch of games tied at the moment. And, uh, all right, Bomberman it is. We do have an arcade version of Bomberman. Um... Uh, which is actually a pretty good arcade version. I just gotta remember how to play it. Difficulty, I'm gonna put the difficulty on easy and I'll give myself a whole pile of lives here. And uh, here we go. We, we should last in this at least for a little while for you guys. Yeah, all those Batmans came in too late. You, can ha you have to wait until next time we click on the letter B now. All those Batmans came in too late. I'm live guys, you have to be on the ball. Hey, you on JK Software. Good to see you. There's a Bomberman the arcade game. I kind of like the art style for this. Now, I've, ne I've never been great at Bomberman, but let's see if we can uh, work it out. David says I suck. Do I really, David? Well, I'm sorry that uh, you don't like what I do. You have a first class ticket out of this stream for life. So congratulations. There you go, David. You don't have to bother watching my content anymore. What have we got here? Oh, damn it. You know what? That's not fair. I, I, I'll start again for you guys. I'll be, I'll be reasonable here. He got booted. Yeah, no, fuck that cunt. Seriously, you don't come into my stream and talk to me like that. That's an instant ban. Yes. Yes. No. All right, let's try this again. I wasn't ready. Now I'm ready. We can do this. It's a bit of a puzzle game. Oh, dude, really? Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I told you, I haven't really played a lot of Bomberman. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Alright, we'll get there. Let's just pretend I didn't lose that life before. We, we have like two minutes to beat this level. Oh, there we go. So we can freeze everybody and then just blow them up. Well, that's a nice little helping hand, isn't it? That'll take some pressure off. There you go. That's the only way I'm going to beat this freaking stage. Yeah, Michael says you didn't see anything. You didn't really miss anything either, brother. Oh, let's 
see what we got here. There's another one. Man, you get given a lot of time to beat these levels, and now I freaking understand why, huh? Where's this guy gonna go? There it is, we got him. Hang on, Azai, it's almost like you have to, like, pre-count the patterns before you use bombs. Hey, Tom, as I said, Thomas, my absolute pleasure. Thank you for being in here today. How you going, Azaya? Good to see you. Welcome. So we're going to blow up these barrels. There, there's some dudes hiding in these barrels. Do we just do one at a time? How, how do we knock them out? How many hits are they going to take? These little freaking ninjas. So they, they hide back inside barrels afterwards. Really? Tra trapping them against a block is your best strategy. Guess so. Trying to, as I said, I have no experience with this, so I'm trying to... It's, the games like this confuse me. I'm not a big puzzle game guy. Alright, there we go. There's one. There we go, that's that's two. Barrel ninjas, pretty much what they are. How you going? Good to see you, D-Wayne. Arcade soup, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Oh, dude, really? Damn. Well, that sucks all the dick and balls, doesn't it? Let's try, let's try this one more time, shall we? Far out, man. That's incredible. <laughs> hey, God, Andy McIntyre. Good to see you. Ben says you can lay two or three bombs at a time when you collect bomb cards. All right. I don't know what the chicken does, but I know I like chicken, so that's okay. Feeling a little bit claustrophobic in here at the moment. There we go, got that little fucker. Hey, we got more chicken. Yeah, there, there, there are fun power ups. I just. I'm such a bomber man noob. I mean, I've got people in here backseat gaming. I mean, it's easy to tell someone what to do when you're an expert. I feel I, I, I'm so paranoid I'm going to blow myself up with a bomb every time I lay one. It's probably my biggest issue. Oh, come on now. Oh, dude, fuck off. And I uh, never played this, but you love puzzle games. Oh, well, if you love puzzle games so much, why don't you marry them? <laughs> Oh, goodness. The, the, these games, I feel like these games basically showcase my flaws as a gamer. Let's go back this way. Ah, damn it. See what happens when I drop multiple bombs at a time? That happens. You can shove the bombs as well. Oh, shove it up, you fucking ass cunt. Oh, my gosh. This, 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 this arcade uh, fucking alphabet soup is very quickly turning into fucking whatever Wednesday. Oh, goodness. That's where, yes. Alright, we got that one. Finally passed another level. Jesus. I was just, yeah, I mean, yeah, some bitch is expecting me to be an expert player on my first go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, alright, let's go. I think I've only got, like, one life left there. Oh, we've got a couple lives left, actually. Yeah, man.
Is that what we're gonna call the arcade? Yes. I mean, that's one way of looking at it. There we go. I'm trying to lay two at a time. I just don't trust myself. <laughs> Richard says you got this. Thank you, bro. How you going, Moses? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. Oh, god damn it. Oh, uh, well. Let's, uh... Oh, I'm glad that's over with. That game just gave me extra grey hairs. Seriously. Fucking Corso with that choice. I mean, I know you weren't the only one with that choice, but I remember you picked it, Corso. And here we go. We got D. We got D. Alright, everyone. Pick a game beginning with D, apart from Double Dragon. We already played Double Dragon. That'll be interesting now that Double Dragon's out of the way. Guys, pick an arcade game beginning with D. And uh, we got one for Dig Dug there. And uh, Die Hard Arcade. How you going, Benny Phillips? Benny Phillips says Ricky D. There you go. Thank you for all the backseat gaming, by the way, Ben. <laughs> we got uh, a few choices for Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Darius. All games that I have. Most choices were for Dig Dug this time. Oh, I could do Dig Dug. I haven't played the arcade version for you guys yet. And, uh... Yeah, I'll give myself five lives as well, so we last as long as we can. I, I don't want to screw you guys out of your choices, so... All right, let's go. Dig Dug. Dig Dug's fun. Not very good at Dig Dug, but I'm better at the last game. Better than at the last game. Big thank you for coming into Arcade Alphabet Suit today. Alright, let's see how we go here. Doesn't really look that much different to the NES version, really, does it? Kinda feel at home here already. What's the name of this game? This game's called Dig Dug. You play a little guy called Doug, and he's digging. Yes. Yes. How you going, nerdy hippie? Good to see you. Yes, we play a guy called Doug and he's digging. Can you dug it, sucker? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. And JK Software says, very I do enjoy this game, actually. I know it's a challenging game, but you know what I like about this game? When you lose in this game, you know it's genuinely because you made a mistake and it's not because you lost to the controls or something. So I, I think I've always found this game to be reasonably fair. It's certainly one of the better uh, uh, retro experiences you're going to have. This takes you back. I never played this in the arcade. I think when I first... You know, I think the first time I played Dig Dug... I think was actually on the PS1. I got the Namco collection on the PS1. And I think that's when I played Dig Dug for the first time. The original Namco arcade collection, which they've just been re-releasing for the last uh, 30 years. Like, or well, 25 years, they keep re-releasing that on every console. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you what, Namco are worse at rebooting their arcade games than what Sega are. Uh, at rebooting their Sega Genesis games. Like, Namco, how many times do you think you can keep rebooting, like, Pac-Man until people are freaking sick of it? Yeah, man, how good's a Commodore... We'll have to do some Commodore 64 games one day. A lot of the games on Commodore 64 don't hold up anymore, but... Uh, the shooters do. The shooters on Commodore are actually still really good. And, and so is that Gianna Sisters game. That game is also very good. Good old Gianna Sisters. That was uh, Commodore 64's answer to uh, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, 
Oh, you first played this on the IBM. Jeez, that's going back a minute, isn't it? Mr. Doe was a good one. That's a game that I haven't played a lot. I found Mr. Doe to be quite difficult. Oh, the oh, okay, you know, I got you. Yeah, I, I have played it on Commodore 64. It was really decent. Oh, actually, I, I made a mistake. I'm pretty sure I played the port on 2600 when I was about 10 as well and just completely forgot about it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I played this on Atari as well. My, my bad. So I think I played that one first. Ah, oh, dude, now, now the lives are falling. Bear, 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 bear. You think I could be playing Mega Man on DOS on, on the ZX Spectrum? Yeah. Now that one was okay. It's, I tell you what, 2600 had a lot of good arcade ports. But most people just remember Pac-Man, which was like the one bad arcade game they did. Uh, Defender was really good on Atari. Donkey Kong was decent on Atari. Pole Position was a phenomenal on Atari. Kung Fu Master was great on Atari. Better than the Commodore 64 version. Carlito was a surprise. Yeah, well, they signed... I knew they signed him four months ago, but they just didn't have anything for him yet. So I'm glad he's on TV now. I'm actually getting further in this than I sometimes do in the NES version, guys. River Raid, yeah. River Raid wasn't an arcade game, though. We're talking about arcade games. But River Raid is one of the best games on the system by a country mile. I never played Satan's Hollow. I know that game, though. I think that was in the Midway uh, Treasures collection. I, I know uh, Midway and uh, Bondi Namco, or Namco at the time, shared a lot of licenses. Like, I know Pac-Man was a, a Namco game, but Midway got the license for it in some regions. Maybe it was the same for Satan's Hollow, too. Because I'm pretty sure I have that game on the Midway Arcade Classics collection. Yeah, that was good too, David. Actually, I prefer to play that version. It's a lot easier to see what you're shooting at. Yeah, that's one arcade game I actually preferred on Atari, Missile Command. I agree with that. That that was one instance where I think the home port was better. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Man, we're absolutely destroying Dig Dug. I've never been further than round 10 for you guys, ever. I never thought in a million years I'd be better in the arcade version than what I am in the home version. Oh, damn it. Oh, and Marvel vs. Cap- yeah, that's another one. Oh, that was lucky that I didn't get caught there. This is hard. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of, I'm, this is just kind of all reflex action right now. I'm just caught in the situations that I need to take care of very quickly at this time. Guys, we just got the high score. You can't see right now because my little star counter is covering it, but I actually just got the high score. For high score ever. How you going, Brad? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh my gosh. Fuck you to the moon. Alright, let's keep going. Wait, Terrence actually got up to... Oh, look at you flexing. Look at you flexing. Oh, dude. Well, that's it. That's our record for the time being. Thank you for watching, guys. That was Dig Dug. That was actually really fun. That's probably the most fun game I've played today so far. Let's see what we got this time. The letter B. We need to pick another game with the letter B, everybody. B. B is for bastard. Yeah, I made a couple silly little mistakes. I reckon we can get further next time. Anthony says, what's the first game you ever played? Scramble on the Vectrex. We got one for Batman, two for Batman, one for Battletoads, one for Bob Bubble Bobble, 
Three for Batman. Um, okay, I could do Batman. But uh, I can't guarantee how far I'll get in this game unless you add an extra couple credits or two. That's the only warning I got for you today. Don't forget, the rules are only one credit per machine. If you want me to keep playing, you have to insert a credit or we'll just move on. Be careful. Let's see how we go. One credit will give us three lives here. Alright, Batman it is. This is a good game, man. I'd like to learn how to play this one a little bit more, to be honest. I don't know if any of you guys ever played this in the arcade. It, it's kind of cool, man. It's all right. Justin says, what do I think of Billy Mitchell? I think Billy Mitchell's an exceptional gamer. And despite the fact that uh, he broke some rules, it doesn't take away from the fact that he's an exceptional gamer. It's just a shame that his uh, integrity is not all the way there. But... Uh, yeah, just because he's a little bit of a cheat doesn't mean he's not a good gamer. Everyone just assumes he's not a good gamer. I'm like, he's still one of the best Donkey Kong and Pac-Man players in the world. But he's just a bit of a douche is all. But, uh, you know. Napier's cleaning out How you going, Andrew Valentine? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I, Timmy, I really enjoyed Fastlane, bro. I thought it was, uh... Yeah, I thought it was a pretty good show, my guy. I thought it was a pretty good show. You know, Fastlane you would consider to be in like a throwaway pay-per-view. But, uh, had some solid feuds and matches on it, to be honest. I feel like it delivered. It was really good to see, uh... The whole Judgment Day and, uh, Bloodline things continue. Have I seen the new Flash movie? No, I didn't end up seeing the new Flash movie. That's going to be one of those movies I just uh, see when I see. But I heard it's okay. I heard it was uh, okay. What do I think they'll do with Jade Card? I don't. I don't know if they're going to be in a rush to debut her. Because I think they want to make her look as uh, strong as possible, obviously. And they're going to be very, very careful with how they write the storylines on that one. Fucking hell, man. Sorry, everybody. This is turning out to be really freaking hard. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go back up here. Oh, man. I'm trying my best to stay alive, guys. This is tough. Okay, we're going to go back up there again. We can do that. Cool. How's everything going, Brent? You looking after yourself? I'm going to try and jump over here. Okay, that worked. All right, cool. Gosh. Oh, there we go. This is the furthest I think I've ever been in this game, guys. I think that's what's going to happen eventually, but that won't happen until at least WrestleMania. I, th I think they'll... I th obviously, I think... I think Jade Cargill's debut will kind of be like Small Fry. Really get a load of me. And then eventually the opponents will get harder and harder and harder. Like, she'll have to work away from the bottom. And I think they'll probably have her job out uh, just regular opponents to start with. Anyway, guys, my apologies. I have to move on to the next game now. That's as far as what I'm going to get in that. <sighs> All right, there you go. That coffee's starting to hit now. It's starting to clap, everybody. Let's spin the wheel again. Dirty Hippie says, nearing the end of Sonic Frontiers. Had to do the second last boss over because of a stupid gap on your part. Oh, no. I don't want you to have stupid gaffes, my friend. <laughs> That's alright, bro. You're doing better than me. I haven't even played the game yet. We need an arcade game beginning with I, everybody. And Billy says, just got a dog from a friend at work. Uh, was going to... Jeez, damn, Billy. That's a, that's a pretty insane story. 
Well, let's pick an arcade game with the letter I, everyone. Once again, thank you for coming in, guys. One coin only. Nostalgia with a smile with some new stuff thrown in. Your host here is a little bit of an asshole, but the good news is everyone else in here is really, really nice. And uh, we encourage you to say hello in the chat. You might make a new friend. Lots of good people in here in the chat today, my friends. We got ice climb one for ice climbers, one for icebreaker, one for invasor, curry warriors, ice climbers. Initial D. Initial D won't work, Nigel. As I said, 95 backwards. 95 backwards. I don't have the technology for Initial D. Retro, retro arcade games, brother. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And uh, Chris says Indiana Jones. I appreciate that, Chris. And I do appreciate the 100 stars, but we still have to be majority rules, sir. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you so much, though, Chris. Shut up, I'm talking. L -A -Night. Yeah. We did get a couple for uh, Indiana Jones, but uh, Ice Climbers did win. So we, we have to do Ice Climber. I Ikari Warriors is a close second, and uh, Indiana Jones was third. But guys, we will spin on I again. So it's okay. As I said, I know you guys are coming in with some last-minute Indiana Joneses now. You have to be on the ball, everybody. We're live. So, uh, I, you know what? Next time, maybe we can do Indiana Jones when we land on I again. Okay, I wasn't ready, actually, so I, I'm not going to count that. I was looking at comments. Let's... Thank you, Chris. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm trying to make it as fair as possible. The wheel doesn't have... Ah! Yeah, I need to put an asterisk on it for like... You're right. Hang on. Ah. Okay, I'll tell you what. That, that's fair, because how are we going to get like 1942 and stuff? Uh, yeah, I forgot to put the... I forgot to put the pound sign on there. Alright, hang on. Um, yeah, I'll, fig I'll figure that out uh, when we spin next. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Forgot to do that. Yeah, I know, you're right. I mean, I've been meaning to do games like that. I just forgot to put it on the wheel. Um, but yeah, we can, we can do that on the next spin. That's fine. Yes. Actually, we don't have any games for the letter Z, so just for today, if we land on the letter Z, uh, it's numbers. So, uh, yes, because because we, we the only game we have in the letter Z is Zaxxon, and that game actually doesn't work properly on this emulator. So, yeah, all right, let's just say, just for today, if we land on the letter Z, it's a number. So you can pick, okay, just for today, and then I'll fix it for next week. Uh, otherwise, I have to go editing the wheel while I'm live. No, that's okay. I, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, so the let letter Z is numbers just for today. Yes. Oh, crap. I just fell off the building while I was collecting dicks, everybody. How you going, Jake? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, no, I do do gun games. I can play them with the wolf. So if you want point blank or Operation Wolf, David, no problem. Terminator arcade game is also fine. I can play those with a mouse. So yes, any most gun games I can play with a mouse. So Lethal Enforcers, Operation Wolf, uh, Point Blank, even Time Crisis. But only the first Time Crisis. The, the sequels don't work because they're too new. So yeah, man, I, you're asking you shall receive. We, we've done Operation Wolf on here before. There we go, we're almost there. Oh crap, really? Oh my gosh, bro, this is freaking hard. Let's go back this way. Oh boy. Are we on a time limit here? Lucky we're not. Jeez. 
Oh my gosh, really? Fucking hell, this is so much, dude. This is so much harder to control than what you realize. Get Gisberg one by twenty seconds. Wow, that's a that's a that's a good effort. Yeah, nice. I hope you ended up enjoying the event, by the way. I, I woke up this morning and I watched um, the Formula One before anyone could spoil it for me. But it was good. Oh my god! Jeez, everybody! Man, I can't even be- I, I feel like I'm fighting the controls in this game. It's ridiculous. How you going, Jonathan? Good to see you. Oh my god, man. Oh, bro, I, I am so fighting the controls today. It is not funny. Oh my gosh, bro. Fuck this wind off. Oh. Sorry, everybody. This is really driving me. Oh my god. How do I like fast lane? This game's gonna go straight in the fast lane. Fast lane's about, I just answered that question about five times before you came in, Jonathan, but a seven or an eight out of ten, it was good. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, everybody. This is embarrassing. Can we just turn this off for today? Fucking hell, man! What do we got? A, let a game beginning with the letter V. Guys, pick an arcade game beginning with the letter V. Arcade game beginning with the letter V, everybody. Let's see what you got. What do we got? We got one for Vigilante, one for Vendetta, both great games. And Chris says it's entertaining when you play poorly. Don't piss me off or I'll pee in your coffee. We got two for Vendetta. And uh, one for Virtual Cop. I don't know if I can get that working, but I'll try. Virtual Racing, Vendetta. All right, Vendetta it is. Vendetta it is. That just made it easy. I think I can get Virtual Cop working. I'm, I'm, I can't remember. I haven't tried it. V for Vendetta, there we go. Yes. So I'll turn this stream into a biohazard very quickly. Vigilante will piss you off. You know I, I usually play Vigilante with the invincibility cheat. I, I do have an invisibility, invincibility cheat for Vigilante. Would that be, that would be the Aussie blend, Jeremy. Yeah, I just, uh, I just haven't got my rhythm yet today. No excuses, but, um, some, some days I get a little bit flustered, uh, trying to read, chat, and play games at the same time. But, what's good about this game is this game will, uh, slow down the pace a little bit and help me collect my breath, and then hopefully we have a solid show. So, sometimes you need a, a, a slower pace beat em up like this, just to collect your breath again. So this, this was a good choice, I think. Let's, let's look at this as the intermission game. This is cool, man. I feel like this game is, the first half of this game is really fun. And then towards the end it gets unreasonably difficult. Like, unreasonably. I, ma I make the beginning uh, look easy and then I get very humble. Yeah, there's a whole co- I don't know how to use him. I'm using this character, because this is the character I can survive the longest with. I'm, try I'm trying to give you guys some bang for your credit today. Oh, this is good, man. This is actually the sequel to Crime uh, Fighters, which was another game that was brought up uh, today. Well, Sims 4 is, is pretty. Oh no shit, huh? Now that's this month's monthly game, huh? If, if, you, if you're lucky enough uh, to get the gun in Crime Fighters, you can cheat through the game because you never lose it. Otherwise, uh, you're in a world of hurt in that one. 
I know. I mean, these beat em ups in the late 80s, early 90s always felt very dystopian, didn't they? Always had a real dystopian kind of feel to it. Double Dragon's also dystopian. Post apocalyptic dystopian future. That will okay. Yeah, it's good. I wish the difficulty was toned down a little bit in that, but apart from that, yeah, I really enjoy it. I tell you what, I might play, I'm going to see what arcade games in here has, like, the invincibility cheat. Because, uh, if I can get some invincibility cheats to open some of these games, I can play more of them to completion. Not that there's going to be a lot of skill there, however. No, this is a Konami game. Konami, this one. It'd be nice if I could pass a level without a death. You already have your football gear ready? Oh, I, I already have uh, a, a motorcycle helmet. I don't even ride a motorbike, but I have a motorcycle helmet. Do you remember when I was the coin on stream? So I have a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> I walk around the streets with a, a motorcycle helmet. But that, that, that's, that's gonna be my dystopian get-up. Hey Michael, thank you bro. Mikey says, add a credit. You know what? Two credits in this game are probably gonna get me very close uh, to the end. So I do recommend that you don't add any more until we need to. Uh, but this is for you. Thank you so much, Mikey. Yeah, no, as I said, I thank you so much, bro. I'm going to put in another credit. I'd recommend also not adding too many, because don't forget, for 1,500, if someone's not enjoying the game and wants to be an asshole, they can change the game at any time. That, that's why, and the reason I have that up there is so you guys only add one credit at a time. That way, I'm not playing the same game all day. Otherwise, someone could add 150 credits, and... Uh, yeah, I'd be kind of fucked, wouldn't I? <laughs> so, having that change game wild card kind of counterbalances adding too many credits. Just if you're wondering what my method to my madness is. Uh, Michael, thank you again for the 310. Appreciate you. Yeah, just glue some spikes to it. Oh yeah, well I've got a leather jacket, I just need to put some spikes on that too. I, I've got, I bought a leather jacket this year that I haven't even worn yet. It's because I'm saving it for the future. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you, man. That's a super generous donation. Let's have some fun for the rest of this stream, huh? Very good morning as well to uh, everyone in here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys in America are having a great Sunday night. Australia, good morning. What are you doing in here? You're supposed to be working. And uh, a big shout out as well to uh, Moe and her sister. Good to see you guys. I know you're watching in the background. Probably can't understand half of the Aussie words I'm saying, but I appreciate you. I, I think the only word they're probably understanding right now is probably motherfucker. I say that a little bit too much on my stream, don't I? Yeah, this is good. I mean, well, if the first half of this game is really fun, but by the third and fourth level, this game starts to become bold. But at least, at least it's enjoyable in the beginning. So this is this is a, a this is a start. Hey, go on, Brian. Good to see you. Got Black Lion in here. Oh, you mean Black Lion Gamers? Big shit out going out to Black Lion Gamers. So Nerdy says, going to be hosting a panel at a convention a little over a week where I introduce people to lesser known uh, good video games. That's a nice idea, actually. That's a nice idea. As Nigel said, people are creatures of habit. But if people can physically see a game and enjoy it in person, then you might uh, you might broaden their horizons. You never know. How you going, Heather? Sorry I haven't come in. And we had COVID for a while, but we're better now. I'm glad to hear that you're better, my friend. That's a nasty illness. Glad, glad you're on the up and up. Oh, your kids had it too. 
I hope your kids were okay. I generally hear that kids cope with it a lot better than what the adults do, so I hope they were okay. Don't forget, we still got one credit in this bad boy. We might get very close to the end. Although, the, yeah, like I said, the, the lives just keep falling in the last couple stages. I think, I think we'll get up to level 4 or 5. Yeah, good. I'm glad to hear you guys are doing good now. Sorry that you went through that. I, I, I've had COVID one time that I know of. And uh, I had a false alarm another time. But I think I've had it at least one other time. It was actually when I was coming back home from overseas. Not last trip, the trip before. I felt really bad because uh, I think I was more sick than I realised. So I hope I didn't make other people sick. Poor lady next to me on the plane hated me because I was popping the whole flight, poor girl. That was the one flight I was on where I was the annoying person. You know, you, usually when I travel, I hate annoying people on planes, but yeah, that, that trip in July was the one time I was annoying. And Alan says, oh, you got it again. Yeah, man, it seems, it seems like you can get it again within a six-month period. Hey, it's scary. I think the chances of getting it after you've just got it are minimal, but after six months, I think it's fair game again, hey. I, I, I don't think it's inconceivable to be able to get it twice in one year. Yeah, Kevin, I did finally see the announcement, brother. I'm excited for that. Because I think they're going to make it as comprehensive as, uh, as possible. And I think they'll also... Uh, I think the intention behind that is to have as close to the iRacing experience as possible on console. So I think there'll be like leagues and leaderboards and stuff. And I think it potentially could be a really big deal. So I'm excited for it. I mean, I prefer to do iRacing. But I also know with my lifestyle, I can't commit to iRacing. So I'll probably just get their NASCAR game in 2025. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, damn, Michael. It's cool, eh? Well, when, when I think I last had it, I was with uh, Moe and she, she got sick first. And then I got sick afterwards. But she got um, through it a lot quicker than what I did. But maybe it's just because she's younger and more healthy, I don't know. But I, I seem to have it about a week longer than what she did. Yeah, that totally looks like Bruiser Brody, hey. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to live in a world where we play 3D games in infrared color. Damn it. Yeah, I never ended up trying World of Outlaws, but apparently it was well received. Yeah, I I've heard a lot of people talk pretty highly of that game. May maybe one day I'll try it when it's on special. That's like that's like uh, dirt sprint racing, isn't it? Don't forget, we still got one credit here, guys. So we're probably going to end up going through this whole game for a change today. Big thank you to Mikey for adding an extra credit. This game is, is really fun. I do encourage you guys to add credits to the games I actually enjoy. With this, this is not whatever Wednesday. Yeah, so we... Yeah! I think an indie card game uh, would uh, be a good idea. The popularity of indie is just not what it was. I remember in the 90s, uh, IndyCar had a lot more of a global fan base, uh, but now it just seems like uh, most people don't give a shit about uh, indie anymore. So I think getting a video game out there is a nice way to bring some casual fans in. I know when I was growing up, when I played like American football games and basketball games and Formula One games, 
it got me interested in the sport. And that's uh, if Indy can bring out a good video game, it might uh, it might bring some casual fans back. Yeah, man, this is a good one. It's a it's a good one, albeit a frustrating one. We're still on our first credit. You would love a V. I still got V8 Supercars 3 on. Uh, that's actually one of the most. Uh, in demand PlayStation 2 game still. There's a V8 Supercars 3 on PlayStation 2, and that's like Australia's Gran Turismo. Like, it's really good. That's like one of the most sought after uh, racing games on PS2. So, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got V8 Supercars 3 in my collection. I think that's the last time we got a V8 game. Still worth playing if you haven't played that one first. The first, the first one was good. It had an interesting story mode and stuff. But uh, the, the game got more comprehensive with the sequel. I think in the, I think in the other regions of the world, it was like the PlayStation 2 Tokyo games. I think. Yeah, hopefully. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be, when this new indie game comes out, I'll be giving it a shot. I, I love oval racing. I mean, it's not all oval racing, but I, I love oval racing. Yeah, any, any game with indie car or NASCAR, I'm down. Oh, this, look at this creepy guy with a trench coat, everybody. I mean, that's, the, I mean, yeah, the V8 supercar series used to appeal to Bogan Australia. The reason we liked it was because of the Ford versus Holden feud. And now we don't even have car manufacturers anymore, so that kind of, uh... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> there you go, I'm Richard. Good to see you. We got Richard on YouTube. Thank you very much for hanging out. Just want to remind you guys that we're on both Facebook uh, and on YouTube today, so enjoy on the platform of your choice. Yeah, he looked like a Decker, didn't he? He looked, he looked like a Decker. Yeah, it's sad it's no longer Paul versus Holden. That was a, it's a sad that both, uh, how many jobs got lost when they stopped making those cars over here too, it's crazy. Man, it's just, I mean, I guess, it's just such a shame. Like, Ford and Holden was just such a big part of our culture. Bye-bye. So that's, that's a lot of our culture that just went out the window. Uh, this is, no, it's okay, Robbie, this is Vendetta. Vendetta, the arcade game. Sequel to Crime Fighters. How's everything going this weekend? The family doing good, Robbie? Relieve her alone. Yeah, it's a good time girl in the background. She like, I love you long time. Love you long time. credit everybody let's keep going yes we use this character we got we're gonna use our last credit now Mikey let's see how we go hey go on Johnny McKay thank you for coming in look at this trench coat mother bitch dude oh my gosh at least he can blow himself up guitar sounds yeah that's usually on the Sega Genesis game I'm gonna give this guy a concussion with a brick yes 
Let's give out some concussions, everybody. Oh, there you go. He just got a concussion. Look, he's vomiting. Yeah, it's good. It's never got a console release as far as I know. You think they should remaster the first gen Need for Speed games? Why not? Why not? 60 frames a second and clean graphics? I, I can't imagine that would be too much work. Yeah, why not? I don't know what the chances of that happening are, but uh, I'm surprised EA don't bring out classic games more often actually, because EA has got a really nice 90s retro back catalogue that they don't dive into enough. Especially when it comes to Road Rash or something. That's right. Um, I think this is in the PSN store and on the Switch store. I keep forgetting that they have ports of their old arcade classics. And yeah, you're right. I think this is actually one of them. I, I think this is one of them. Well, I, I'm terrible at those games. I'll agree that those games are good, but subjectively, I mean, I don't care if they come out again or not. He's throwing his bum buddy at me, everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think if the... Yeah. I like that they remixed uh, the Hot Pursuit when we got Hot Pursuit a couple years ago. I thought that was pretty underrated, to be honest. They did the Hot Pursuit remaster. That was a nice idea. I might have to stream that one day. Yeah, I might stream that one day. I've still got uh, Hot Pursuit and PS4 floating around here somewhere. Nice casual game. You know, Hot Pursuit on uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit and PS4 is like one of those good games to play when you don't know what to play. It's actually a, uh, it's actually pretty good. Fuck these dogs off, man. This is where the game starts to get really cheap, everybody. This is where the game starts to get really cheap. There's not a whole lot I can do here. Oh my god, see I just lost three lives straight away. It's so fucking cheap. So yeah, the game started off very fair and then we got this. When is Streets of Rage going to be able to be bought? What do you mean is it going to be able to be bought? This is Vendetta Rick, good to see you. No, I did, I did, I've done, I did okay from the beginning. But yeah, just not now. Yeah, the dog is shit, man. Such a terrible enemy in this. Hope you're going great, Bernardo. So sorry about your last credit, Mikey. This game does get really difficult. Yeah, put that motherfucking dog down. An SSX Tricky Remaster. Yeah. I'd be down for that. Man, those snowboard games are amazing. Like, SSX Tricky on uh, Xbox and Amped. I, I loved Amped. The original Amped. It was like a launch game on Xbox. And uh, Xbox original. And you could play the game with your, like, techno tracks in the background instead of the... Oh, it was so awesome. I loved playing my own soundtracks in that game. Ant was so good. I think that was probably my favourite, but Tricky was pretty good too. It's amazing how this basic game literally looks like the 80s. I mean, they get the flavour right, don't they? Ah, oh, damn it. Sorry, Mikey. This is my last life, homie. You want to play it? Give it a crack. As I said, I think you can buy this on console. Peter, so yeah, Woody says Peter's going to be all over this game. I know, right? Ah, fuck you to the moon. Oh my gosh. I gave that my best shot, Mikey. Thank you so much. We're going to, uh, jo Joseph says he stabbed you in the dick. Oh, there we go. Another credit. I, you lucky, guys. I nearly got out of there. Thank you, Joseph. Joseph with a 250, he saved the day. We got the last level after this, too. 
Thank you, Joseph. You're a good egg. There we go. We're so close to the end. Yeah, Joseph in with a clutch. Talk about cutting it close, man. That adds to the suspense of the show. <laughs> thank you, man. I'm, I'm going to give a thank you to uh, Joe as well. I'll give you a thank you screen as well, brother. Just wait till the end of this level. No way, oh, no, he's brought his boyfriend back in. Oh. Damn it. How many hit points does this cunny want to have? Ah, crap. How you going, Matty Rice? Good to see you. You just got done playing this earlier. Oh my gosh. There we go. Almost there. How you going, Mikey Lower? Good to see you. Mikey Lauer, I should say. Forgive me. Oh my gosh! Damn, that was a mission. Alright, what are we going to do? We're going to do this one for you. Thank you, Joseph. It's like what I just did to this guy. And guys, we also got LeVay in here with the Beat 100. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Thank you for coming in, LeVay. Thank you so much, my guy. I really appreciate you. Now we've got the fucking dogs here again. Oh my gosh, these fucking dogs, man. Oh, there you go. I just beat the hell out of that freaking Fido Cunny. Oh gosh. I just beat the I, I just beat the holy hell out of that Fido Cunny. There you go, you got pretty lucky today, Nigel. You were one of the people to pick this game. You're pretty much gonna see the whole thing here, brother. <laughs> you got pretty lucky. Does this remind you of the mean streets of London, perhaps? Is this what the mean streets of London are like? Maybe dystopian London. <laughs> yeah, Bloodsport's awesome. Did you guys ever see the sequels? I, gu I guess the sequels were not without their charm, but they were like good, bad movies. I don't know if you guys ever saw the sequels. It's been a while. Are they Rottweilers, are they? Oh. I thought, okay, you know what? I thought they were little Doberman some bitches. Maybe they are rock whalers. Either way, they're going down. Oh, oh gosh, really? That's scary. I was only joking, but I did hear that London's getting a little bit dangerous these days. It, do, it, do, it, do, it doesn't surprise me that any uh, big western city gets a little bit dangerous now, though, just with the expense and cost of living. People are getting desperate. There's less there's less crime than the standard of living thing here. How you going, Judge? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. We have a big, as I said, in my state, in Queensland, we have a big problem with youth crime right now. It's, it's, uh... I mean, even in my area, I see teenagers around all the time, and in their heart of hearts, they're probably good kids. But you can just tell, looking at them, they're trying to get up to no good. And so Woody says nothing says love like a shotgun to the face. Uh, in, in Australia, you know, usually it's called the money shot, but uh, hey, if, you know, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's just, you know what, this has not been my worst playthrough. We're almost up to the final boss here. Almost. Make good use of that gun then. Oh. 
Oh, is that is that what you call it? Oh. <laughs> I, I like to learn a little bit more about the culture, Anthony. You think? No, no, no. As I said, I, I'm not. I'm not too judgmental. I mean, I know. I, I know some kids are not beyond redemption. They just need to be put a, a, along the right path. And, uh, you know, a lot of kids want to feel like they belong. And unfortunately, they go into the wrong crowd to get that feeling, you know what I mean? Comes from broken homes. If they don't feel like they're uh, belonging at home, they're going to want to get that externally. And if they end up with the wrong crowd or the wrong people, then there lies the problem. Hey, you Mikey Joseph. This is Vendetta, my friend. This is a really good arcade game. No, this was the sequel. So, uh, actually, technically, there is a sequel on PlayStation 4 that came out two years ago, I think, called The Final Vendetta. But that game is hard as balls. I, I couldn't play that. I'd probably survive three levels. I might do it as a bonus game for you guys one day. But they had Crime Fighters, and then this is Vendetta, and then they have a game called Final Vendetta, which I think is a spiritual sequel. And, uh, yeah, that came out, like, two years ago on PS4. Tell you what, the most overpriced beat em up I ever got though, that cost something like 37 Australian dollars for like 20 minutes of gameplay. Like, thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, that SNK, dude, that's. You know, <laughs> So, I, I just want to, okay, you know what, I'm going to elaborate on that. So, I want to thank Mr. Headlock Gaming again for like the three plus years he streamed amazing content on our channel. And, you know, Mr. Headlock Gaming probably had somewhere along the lines of two, three hundred streams on one point only. And there was only ever one game in that whole time he ever did that absolutely sucked. And it was this uh, King of Fighters Beats of Rage game. And uh, I, I don't know who made this game, but they obviously hated children because it's like one death every five seconds. I was like, the fuck, bro? <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, you know what? We need to turn that... I think we still got that on YouTube. I think we need to turn that into a compilation reel. That was hilarious. <laughs> Hey, going, Kenny Patrick. Thank you for coming in. Ah, oh, crap. Man, it's amazing how. Oh, sorry, everybody. I'm sorry, Nigel. I kind of feel like I let you down today. <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna spin the wheel again. Oh. That was close. That was a nice run. There you go. No! That, that was, yeah, that was alright. Alright, let's go back to the wheel again. That was fun. We got to, there was no point adding another credit right at the end, I'd agree, so. Yeah, that would be a nice idea, actually. Did I just spin on the letter V again? Guys, I just spun on the letter V again. V is for the JJ. Guys, I just spun on the letter V again, I'm pretty sure. Did I spun? Did it spun, spun again, didn't it? Did, did I just spin on the letter V again? Alright, well, now we got another game with the letter V. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, well, what game do you want with the letter V, everybody? Alright. All right, letter V again, everyone. We got, uh, we got Vanguard there, Vasta, Victory Road, uh, Vigil uh, Vigilante, uh, Violent Storm, Virtue Cop. I think I can get that working. We'll have to see. We got one for Victory Road, uh, Vasta, Victory Road, Vigilante, Vampire Survivor, Video Hustler sounds spicy. Uh, I don't know if that's allowed or not. Virtual racing. I don't know if I can get that working, but I'll try. Uh, 
I'm not going to play Vendetta again. Vigilante. We got two for Vigilante. One on YouTube, one on Facebook. Virt one for Virtual Cop, one for Virtual Fighter, one for Virtual Racing. You guys are all kind of split in this one. And, uh... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an executive decision on this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do uh, Vigilante. There you go. You guys are a little bit too split. So let me just change the... Okay, the difficulty's good. All right, so I've got... This is a really, really hard game, but I'll give it my uh, best shot. Yeah. See, now you guys are coming in with more Virtual Cop and more uh, Virtual Fighter. You guys need to be quicker, okay? How you going, James? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Try and be quicker, everybody. We are live. We're trying to keep the flow of the show going. Let's see how we go here. So this is kind of spiritual sequel to Kung Fu, everybody. Oh, we're going to get the nunchucks. The nunchucks are the best. There it is. The collision detection's broken on the boss. I don't quite understand it. I, I beat this on Master System over the course of the weekend. To this day, I don't know how I beat the Master System version. I, I don't care. Yeah, but I, I beat the Master System version growing up. I rented it out for a weekend rental. It was only five levels. And I figured out the game when I was about nine. Yeah, it's like Kung Fu. Harder. Hard as balls. Video Hustle, you, you expected hookers and blow, I think. I think you expected hookers and blow. Yeah, I know, exactly. I, I love the drum pads in this. It does sound like... You remember when you could get, like, those, uh... 90s drum pads from, like, the Radio Shack? Or the Tandy or whatever? It sounds like one of those ah. 90s drum pads. I miss them. I wish I had them. It, so it sounds like a 90s drum pad. All the kids had them. Oh, is it really? I didn't know Nightmare. Interesting. You certainly know a few more things than I do. Oh, I'm glad that guy fucked off. That was really annoying. This was on the Turbo Graphics as well, but it was originally an arcade game. But yeah, they, they had a really good arcade port in the Turbo Graphics. Hey, come Hey, come on. There you go, it's Captain Lou Albano, guys. Girls just want to have fun. It's Captain Lou Albano. I come home and I kick some ass. My daddy is a big fat sunfish motherfucker. There we go, I just sung Girls Want to Have Fun, the 1.0 edition. <laughs> Oh gosh, where the girls are? Yeah, where are the girls? Do the Mario? We'll do the Mario as well. I do have that screen here, I think. Yeah, I think I have that screen, actually. Next star donation gets the Mario dance. Almost there. Almost there. Man, he, dude, he's just taking that like a champ. He, he is kind of no-selling it like a bad professional wrestler. <laughs> oh, boy, that took forever. We only just had enough time, too. We're going to save Madonna from the skinheads, everybody. That's the goal of this game. We have to save Madonna from the skinheads. The van is carrying Madonna. To their turf, and if the skinheads get their way, she ain't gonna be a virgin anymore. Anyway, we, we're gonna save Madonna, everybody. Yeah, we got on B again, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, Madonna. Madonna making a cameo in this game. Yeah. <laughs> now, dare they kidnap the material girl? Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, Eddie Murphy once cracked the joke, I'm a material girl in a material world, if you don't have no money, you don't get no banani. And these skinheads are all like, oh yeah, Madonna, we'll see about that. And that's why we're rescuing her. Okay, Daniel wants to see the Mario dance. You got it, bro. Thank you, brother. Very, thank you very, very, very much, David. Sorry, I think I poor, called Paul David Daniel. I get my D's confused like Laura and Lauren and David and Daniel. Forgive me, David. David Cole with the big 145 stars. Thank you so much. First time sending anyone stars, bro. I feel very incredibly privileged. Don't forget, only 0.000, like 3% of people send stars. So to, to get anything off anyone is a, a pretty special thing. So thank you. Thank you very much, dude. Being called, well, yeah. No, it's not sad, because I grew up watching the Mario show too. Great memories. Great memories. Oh, right, maybe I've got to keep jump kicking them in the face. Man, it takes too long to take their health down. This is crazy. We are okay, we gotta keep him away from the van. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. At, le at least you instantly respawn in this. Yeah, I know you guys do. A as I said, I, I, I do have goals uh, to, in the future, not rely so much on community support. But the reality is, it's things are a little bit crazy right now. So I, I do appreciate you guys, but I'm trying to take all the right steps, guys. I'm pushing hard on Facebook with multiple types of content. I'm, I'm back on YouTube. And uh, I'm also going to get uh, another uh, separate channel started. Uh, up and running this week. So I'm, I'm hoping within like maybe 12 to 24 months it'll be a little bit more uh, sustainable support or not, you know what I mean? So I do appreciate you guys in the meantime. At the end of the day, you guys still don't owe me anything. Do I love stars? Yes. But I want to remind you guys, if you don't want to send them, that's also fine. Well, I hope you do send them. <laughs> No, it's okay, David. As, as, as I said, I, ho I hope I, I, I hope uh, my classy response was uh, all you needed to hear. Ooh. Hey, gone, Ruben. Yeah, it's more. It's more than just being a streamer. Like I, I stream five to six hours a day, but then I make the offline content. Also, do a completely different content type now on YouTube. <laughs> So I, I generally work minimum of eight to nine hours a day on one coin only. See, six days a week it's about nine hours, and one day a week it's about four or five hours. So um, I do about fifty to sixty hours a week, but I enjoy it. That ain't a complaint. But uh, all I'm saying is I definitely earn it. I definitely do earn it. Oh, I won't have anyone tell me otherwise. I know, I know how much I work. How you going, Robbie? Good to see you. Whoa. Yeah, you see, Mr. Headlock Gaming knows ooh, it's not ooh. bullshit because he does exactly the same thing. Ah, oh, dude, really? <laughs> Have I tried out chat and screen? Yeah, I'm just not interested in having it. I think, I think uh, with today's stream style, I think less is actually more. So, um, I am going to probably use Restream, but I might not put it on the screen. Uh, yeah, we're, we're content creators as well. Anyway, let's pause that. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's go back to the wheel. That was a good effort. That, that, was, that was a pretty good effort. Now we got M. We got M for Mother Trucker. Guys, what game would you like to see beginning with the letter M? <sighs> yeah. 
I, as I said, I'm just I'm just so lucky that I have someone that understands the requirements needed to content create every day. I'm I'm so lucky that I have a good support there. Like really, Mortal Kombat the arcade game, Metal Slug, Magic Sword. Oh, that's a good pick. Magic. We got we got one for Marvel Madness, one for Metal Slug. Mega Man the arcade game, couple for Mortal Kombat, Moonwalker. Keep them coming, guys. I'll give you about another 20 seconds. We got two for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. That's now three for Mortal Kombat, three for Metal Slug. And four for Metal Slug. Now four for Mortal Kombat. Four for Mortal Kombat and four for Metal Slug. And, uh... There we go. It's between Mortal, Mortal Kombat. All right. I don't know if I've got the button set up very well on this, but I'll give it a shot. Don't forget the arcade version of Mortal Kombat's balls hard. I'm going to warn you in advance. I'll probably only last for two seconds, but uh, I, I don't even know if I've got the buttons set up in the right section here. Yeah, sorry, Woody. I tried, bro. <laughs> That's all right. We'll probably end up landing on the, the letter M again. You never know. Nah, no Metal Gear. As I said, arcade games only today, Joshua. There's no arcade Metal Gear, brother. This should load in a second, everyone. Look at this. The arcade machine's just booting up everybody. It's, it's booting up. It's like trying to boot up an old car. It's only... Alright, who are we going to use? I mean, Sub-Zero, I feel like, is the only guy i got any chance of doing well with. Da 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 D Wayne, help me play the game. Yeah, D Wayne, you need to you need to help me. I I got this. Alright, we got this now. It's all good. Da 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 da. Anyway. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? That's actually one thing I remember. Well, I actually do remember the fatalities. So I feel, I, I feel like the Sub-Zero fatalities like these years too. Oh, here we go. Down, forward, down. Oh, dude, I didn't do it quick enough. Oh, you have to be really quick in the arcade version. Jesus, they don't give you much time, do they? The, the window is so small on this one. Sorry about that. Fucking hell, I just, I just blew, I just, wow. Yeah, the window is very small. Fuck. Damn, man, I'm, dude. Yeah, that was, that was interesting, wasn't it? All right. <laughs> wins. I'm actually surprised I'm still in this. Yeah, I don't know who got the penalty for that crash between him and his teammate, but I know Toto Wolf's not going to be freaking happy. Tell you what, George Russell did a, an awesome job to recover. Absolutely awesome job. I don't, I don't block enough in this. Oh, dude, it didn't fucking work. Forward, down, forward, high punch. It didn't fucking work. Anyway, sorry, guys. I'm doing terrible on the fatalities here today. I, I'm, prob I'm, probably, I'm probably panicking because the Mortal Kombat got himself, Mr. Headlock Gaming, is in here and I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up too much. Oh, my gosh. These days, I think my preferred fighting game is actually Tekken because I'm just, uh... I, 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 Street Fighter 6 fundamentally was a good game, but presentation-wise, they made it woke garbage, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really enjoy the new uh, Street Fighter presentation. Damn. Sorry, everybody. So, I prefer Tekken. I like Lore, I like Asuka, I like Lee. There you go.
King, obviously. Let's go back to the wheel. Spin again. Josh says you don't know how to make a fatality. Well, I was pressing the wrong buttons, bro. I would advise that you don't make fun of me, Josh. Otherwise, it's not going to end well for you. <laughs> we got the letter P. Give me an arcade game beginning with P. Zero tolerance for anyone that wants to give me a hard time for not playing games well. Zero tolerance for virgins. We got, we got a letter P, everybody. Yes. We got one for Pit Fighter. Point Blank, Paperboy, these are all games. We got two for Paperboy. Pro, uh, Pro, no, Probotect is a big technicality, but that's always going to be Contra in the arcade, Josh. We got two for Pit Fighter, two for Paperboy, one for Pac-Man, three for Pit Fighter, three for Paperboy, four for Pit Fighter, five for Pit Fighter, because we got one on YouTube for Pit Fighter as well. Uh, all right, it's going to be Pit Fighter. You know, I'm okay with Pit Fighter. We haven't played it in a little while. Pit Fighter it is. How you going, Mr. Commodore 64 Brannigan? Ty is the only way to go in this. The other characters are too clunky. Pit Fighter it is. Let's go. It is kind of like an auction house, isn't it? I'm glad that you guys are so enthusiastic, though. It's pretty awesome. Tomo says play all yeah. Oh, you can you can play with these nuts. How's that sound? <laughs> play with these nuts. Hope you're going great, Tomo. Thank you for coming in. No primal rage. Well, you know what? You never know. Maybe in the future, Josh. You never know. Yeah, uh, in uh, Europe and in Australia, Contra was actually Probotecta. So nice try, but uh, no, that's console only. <laughs> you have to wait for the letter C, Josh. Damn it, man. Got a bit shit crazy here. Poor, poor Jim. I usually can get pretty far on one credit. I can usually get six or seven fights in. Probably, because they're both midway games, aren't they, D-Wayne? Probably. I think the arcade version does work, but it's a clunky mess. I don't find it a fun game to play, to be honest. No, we're not playing Kadash tonight. I mean, you guys can pick that, but pick it at your own risk. The rules are for these arcade games, we play everything with one credit and you guys can add an additional credit if you wish, but don't add too many because someone can change the game at any time for 1500 if they don't enjoy it. Yeah, he wears a yellow, he wears an Apollo Creed yellow vest later on. Yeah, Woody, we used to have lock-ins on Saturday mornings at Time Zone in Australia in the 90s. And you'd pay about $20 and it'd be like unlimited games for like two or three hours. So Time Zone lock-ins were pretty popular. Now, I know how to play Pit Fighter. You, the, the, the problem is most people don't pick Ty. Most people pick Buzz because he's a cool buff pro wrestler. But he's the most clunky and probably least fun character to use. If you use Ty, you can take advantage of his spin kicks and the cartwheels if you know how to do them. I have to admit, I don't remember how to do his cartwheel move. But... Yeah, Ty, Ty, Ty is a very forgiving character in this game. Go Sherry Martell just copped a big barrel in the face. Hey that Sherry.
I'm, I would almost be willing to guarantee that in her personal life, Sherry Martell wore that outfit once or twice. That, that's kind of what the ladies wore in the late 80s, early 90s to seduce their men. That, that, that was kind of the going thing. <laughs> oh, it was only 10 bucks. Wow, that's, that's a good deal. To the Golf the Surface Paradise one. I'm pretty sure she wore that outfit at one point or another. I'm pretty sure she yeah, I'm pretty sure she put that outfit on, sir. She she strikes me as a freaky one. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good to see you, Stevie, by the way. Thank you so much for coming back. You know, look at that hillbilly at the front. Did you see that hillbilly? There you go. Look at that hillbilly. Go back to your whiskey bottle. That looks that looks like your drunk uncle in the, in the family reunion. Wasn't Liu Kang inspired by Bruce Lee? To tell you the honest truth, Jermaine, I don't know. Probably the wrong person to ask that question. I need to watch Lionheart. I haven't seen that for years, but a lot of people like... I know a lot of people like Lionheart uh, even more than Bloodsport. I'll, I'll have to check out Lionheart again. He also was in a movie called The Quest. The movie itself wasn't good, but I love the fight choreography in it. Uh, Mankind and The Rock were in that empty arena match. Uh, I think during the Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. I, can't, I think I, I think Rock won the belt back in that, didn't he? Or maybe he didn't. There we go. We got Mr. Slave here, everybody. I'm almost I'm almost out of credits, but we might make it to another level. We've done pretty good off one credit here, everybody. Pay that, Mr. Slave. First kickbox and no movie was okay. I didn't mind the other one for Sasha Mitchell. But his career got ruined afterwards because he got falsely accused of uh, slapping around his lady and sent to prison and it turned out she was lying apparently. That, that kind of, he never really fully recovered from that, I don't think. I haven't seen him, what, what's he doing now? A step by step was pretty awesome. It's like Duck King from Fatal Fury here now. Oh, there we go. This has been good, guys. Look at that. We got. Look how far we got one credit. It's been decent. Man, I wish I wish you could pick up health. I am enjoying this, although I'm not gonna lie, the game's gonna get pretty difficult from after this level. Not gonna lie. You think this game is aged like milk? I don't know, man. I'm still having fun playing this with Ty today. This is a nice piece of history, this game, I think. Dude, I can't believe it, man. Dude, I can't believe we just managed to survive again. This is crazy. You are the pan. It does look a little bit like Rufio. You are the pan. 
grunge match, last fighter standing. There we go. This is like the bonus level. Yeah, it's a pretty decent run. Oh, crap. What did that mean again? White Warrior, wasn't it? Noxu Cow. There you go. You know, you know I'm, I just realized I'm, I'm yelling out a Thai phrase and uh, my, my girlfriend's probably in hysterics right now trying to hear me say a, a Thai phrase. <laughs> White Warrior. Noxu Cow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So don't, don't forget, we got a lot of Thai people in here watching. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I'm a white warrior, all right, beating up this poor girl. I just, yeah, probably. I can't believe we just passed another level with one health left. Noxu cow. <laughs> Everyone, chant it. Noxu cow. Oh gosh. There we go, Mad Miles. Let's go. Go, White Warrior. <laughs> oh look, this looks like your uncle at the family reunion as well. How you going, Eric? Good to see you. Thank you for... Ah, oh, dude, I'm dead. Well, that was, a, that was a good run. I think that's the furthest I've ever been off one credit, everybody. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Oh, yeah, it does kind of look like Bennett, like a, a non-buff version of Bennett. Guys, we got the letter M again. So we got the letter M for like a second time. What's a game you'd like to see with a letter M that we haven't already done today? So Woody says Magic Sword. We got a Midnight Resistance there. Mappy, Metal Slug. Moon Patrol, that's a good choice. Mrs. Pac-Man, we're all very split in this one. Moonwalker. I had a big blister on my finger. I accidentally uh, burnt my finger on my breakfast today, by the way. I'm surprised it hasn't prevented me from playing games. That's three for Metal Slug now. And uh, two for Moon Patrol. That's like four for Metal Slug. Three for Moon Walker. Three for Moon Patrol. Metal Slug slightly in the league. Metal Slug with five. Metal Slug it is. And uh, I actually have to change the dip slit switch for Metal Slug because I have something like, uh... Now guys, I have 59 lives here, which is an accident. You're not getting 59 lives today. You're gonna get 5 lives per credit. So if you want me to have more than 5 lives, then you can add 250. But yeah, each credit, each credit's five lives. That's an error. So just a heads up. This is a fun game. So yeah, five lives after the fifth life. Because uh, I'm not changing the dip switch again. You want me to do Miss World? Miss World Noob's awesome. But yes, Facebook doesn't have a sense of humor. But Miss World Moon's only softball. Like, it's only like Playboy picks. It's not like, uh, it's not like Red Tube stuff. Yeah, you guys get five lives. So once that counter goes to, once it goes to 54, it's game over.
Mon Commodore 64 Brannigan and my favorite song is in that Miss World Mood game, by the way. Everybody, move your body. My body, everybody, your body, her body. It's got that awesome Eurohouse track in it. Everybody, move your body. Yeah, the music game in Miss World Mood. Yeah, that Eurohouse track is pretty dope. Everybody, move your body. <laughs> My body, everybody. Dip switches, get stitches. Ah, that's what we have to I guess so. Maybe today. Maybe today. It's, it sounds better in the brain, I think, Mr. Headlock Gaming, than it does on delivery. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you liked Party Truck yesterday. I don't think it's something we can do all the time. But I, I know you guys um, miss it. So if I bring it back every month or two, no big deal. I knew it wasn't going to be as popular as a, a regular show, but it also went better than I thought. So thank you to everyone that turned up yesterday. It was good. Well, I was going to be on for longer, but I felt like three hours was enough. I felt like everyone had the gist of it by then. They're very well mannered POWs. I'd be like, what the hell took you so long? But they're all like, thank you. Yeah, it, it's almost every single metal. Oh, the first one's not too bad. Although the, the last level and the first one's also pretty long. But all the sequels, the final level's pretty much as long as the rest of the game combined. You're right. Yeah, I enjoyed doing it, and everyone seemed to be really enthusiastic just to shoot the shiz and chill out, and it was good. We didn't have any hiccups or anything. I, I got banned right at the end, so I was lucky. Like, as I was raiding you guys into another stream, uh, Facebook sent me a block. So it was funny, because I got banned right at the end. You know what I'm actually tempted to do? Uh, for the morning stream. Now now that I'm back on using a 4x3 resolution, I, I want to try and do uh, a WWE stream one more time and see if I can get away with it. Maybe some general manager mode or something. But uh, WWE is absolutely relentless when it comes to streaming their content. Even if you use uh, stream safe mode, you always get flagged. So, uh, yeah, we'll, just have, we'll just have to see. I dropped the track. That was funny, wasn't it? I wasn't paying attention. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I got, I got flagged. Uh, in WWE, I get flagged actually for video. Everyone's like, oh, I'll turn the music off, turn the music off. I've, I did some research. I've never ever been flagged for music in WWE. Every time I got flagged in WWE, it's from uh, unskippable video and, and promo material. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, and transition screens that are unskippable. So, uh, I mean, you can try... Oh, sorry, guys. You can try and keep an eye on them. It's easier said than done. I'm sorry, David, but I'm pretty terrible at that game, unfortunately. So it's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Maybe one day, but not any time soon. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's, yeah, it's only been since, uh... I got maybe flagged once or twice on 2K19, but for, for the most part, even that one was okay. But anything from 2K20 onwards... Actually, 2K20 was okay as long as I didn't use Bray Wyatt. If I used Bray Wyatt, may he rest in peace, in 2K20, uh, that was like an instant flag. And I got in trouble as well for using Braun Strowman uh, in 2K20 as well. But anything older in 2K20, uh, I've, I've never had any problems, ever. 
And I find that quite surprising because quite often I used to stream uh, the Stone Cold Steve Austin Showcase mode in 2K16. And I'd be playing full videos for minutes at a time when I'd stream that. Never get, never get banned or anything. Like, it was always totally okay. Oh, it's okay, Woody. No problem, man. It happens. What's the best Halloween movie? Halloween. Halloween. I got three lives left, everyone, by the way, including this one. Yeah, I enjoyed Fastlane. It was good, man. It was a solid show. One of the. It's, I tell you what, WWE are delivering. Uh, even uh, on their throwaway pay-per-views right now. It's pretty good. And I tell you what, SmackDown's been a thoroughly enjoyable show to watch lately. Like, I, I watched SmackDown this week, and I was like, you know what? I am so thankful at how good the wrestling product is these days. Like, I, I watched SmackDown, I was like, this is really good television. I was just so grateful for how good SmackDown is lately. But I'm really, really enjoying SmackDown. I think that show is a very high standard. Thank you. Two hours is perfect for wrestling. I think it's a shame Raw can never go back to three. But uh, I feel like Smash Raw is okay, but SmackDown's doing all the right things. Raw Raw Raw's good too, but Raw always feels a little bit too long. Smack SmackDown just hits hits different. That's a lot of things. The healthy competition as well. But Hunter is doing a good job. Yeah, I, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing NXT. It's rumoured that Undertaker is going to turn up on the show. Everyone looking out for the Undertaker. That'll be interesting. I wonder what kind of little skit he's going to do. Oh, House of Wax. See, I forgot that Paris Hilton tried her hand at acting and being a pop star. Do you remember when Paris Hilton brought out that song that uh, ripped off uh, Kingston Town by UB40? She did that song, was it Right There Waiting, Right There For You or something? And it was that song, no, Love Is Blind. Yeah, no, Paris Hilton did that Love Is Blind song. And it was uh, a rip-off of uh, Kingston Town by Ubi40. Stars are blind. Stars and stars are blind. Yeah, that one. Star stars are blind. Yeah, stars are blind and now one point only is deaf. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not knocking at Paris Hilton. For uh, using her name, her name and branding to be successful, I think that's smart, and I'm not, not going to hate on her for that. But she's one of the first of many girls along a long line that even today are becoming famous for all the wrong freaking reasons, huh? She's she's basically the godmother of uh, the OnlyFans generation, really. <laughs> Then Kim Kardashian came along, and then the rest is freaking history. We're on our last life here, everybody. There we go. We live to fight another day. This is our last life, guys, as I said, because I didn't change it in Switch. If you want another five lives, you can enter uh, a credit. Otherwise, no big deal. We will move on to the next game. Yeah, that wasn't even good. I saw that tape when I was in my 20s, and she was just a starfish. That wasn't even any good. <laughs> she was just a complete starfish. Hey, thank you for three years, huh? Man, I appreciate you putting up with me for that long, sir. That's really good of you. 
Congratulations, uh, Bernardo. No, the, 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 thing, the thing with OnlyFans is the personal experience. Um... Because people want to engage and not, you know, it's it's basically because you think you've got the opportunity to talk one on one, but people are getting conned because management teams are running OnlyFans pages, and people think they're getting a personal experience with the person on the page, and they're not. So that that's the problem I have with it. It's the biggest fraud ever. It's very fraudulent. Yeah, what do we got now? L. Uh, Alright guys, arcade games beginning with L, and uh, I refuse to do Load Runner, so any Load Runner requests are going to get ignored. No, no, we're not going to be doing Load Runner. What else do you guys like beginning with L? Like, uh, no, that's not an arcade game. If you guys don't know anything of with L... Uh, I can pick something else. We got one for Line of Fire. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, it's a trickier one letter L, isn't it? Locked and loaded, load, um. Lightning Fire, everyone's kind of split. Well, Line of Fire, can't, is Line of Fire going to work? A line of fire is not working, so we'll do lightning fighters. Okay, I think this is a shooter. I think lightning fighters a shooter. I'll give myself seven lives. And all right, we'll do lightning fighters. See what this one's all about. We have one for lethal. I would have loved to have done lethal enforcers. You're just a little bit too late. Oh wait, here we go. All the votes came in for lethal enforcers. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I've, done, I've done the first level very recently, so we're going to do the Chinatown level today. And I'm going to be... Yes. We're going to do the cultural appropriation level, everybody. <laughs> Let's, uh... The Chinatown level's pretty fun, though. I think it's like Chinatown, San Francisco. And uh, it's good. Let's see how we go. One more credit to start. Yeah, lethal enforcers are cool, bro. We just got uh, the gaming van direct. Oh wait, it didn't let me pick my level. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, I think we can pick after the first stage. Oh, we. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm gonna restart because I wasn't ready. I forgot the controls, and that's not fair on you guys. So I'll restart. It's all good. This is the real. Yeah, I wasn't ready. One. There it is. I, I I got this now. How you going, Seth? Good to see you. You can't kill me, copper. Eat lead. Yeah, we can't shoot innocents either. You can't kill me, copper. That was lucky. Help me, yeah, just jump right up in the line of fire, you silly cow. You can't kill me, copper. There you go, just got that wench in the head. I'm not even going to get that gun, I prefer the rifle. You can't kill me, copper. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you think. There we go, we just rescued a hostage. There you go. I just shot your ex-girlfriend. Oh crap. This was one of the games responsible for bringing in the ESRB. Uh, it was also Mortal Kombat most famously, but this game was, um, I remember this was bundled, I think, with a Sega CD with realistic looking guns and parents were absolutely outraged. And this game's just as responsible for the ESRB rating system uh, as what Mortal, Mortal Kombat actually is. A lot of controversy behind this, and so when I got this game in Australia, we had the pink and the blue guns because they looked like toys. You missed me, pig. You can't kill me, copper. 
This was on Sega CD and Sega Genesis. It may have been on Saturn as well, I'm not sure. But it's Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, and uh, Sega CD. You can't kill me, copper. Be right with you guys, thank you for watching. I can't read comments while I'm playing this game, but I'll be right with you guys. Thank you for being in here. You miss me, pig. You miss me, pig. Man, these criminals are some of the worst kind, huh? You can't kill me, copper. There you go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so much smack talking on this. I'm hoping we can start the Chinatown level, but we're, we're probably going to be out of credit. We're going to make sure we don't shoot out the t tires. It's, it's such a force of habit to shoot out the tires, but then it's harder to shoot everybody because the cars are moving straight, not moving straight. You know, you know the whole honor amongst thieves thing. Who's even driving the car? There's a lot of people in this car. Oh, dude, instant victim. We just shot Christy Brinkley by accident in her Ferrari, everybody. How you going, Benny Ka Carroll? Good to see you. Thank you for coming. I love the music in this level, I'm not gonna lie, it bumps. It absolutely bumps. Konami's always been one for their music and this one delivers. But yeah, this 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 music in this level absolutely bumps. There we go, we got him. Hey, we, we still got three uh, lives for uh, the Chinatown level. It's all good. <sighs> Are they clown cars? Yeah, they kind of look like little clown cars, don't they, Dave? I, I can see that. Detective. Yeah, we're, give we're giving it our best shot, Eric. We got a little mini game here now. I get another promotion? No. Now, this next level, everyone, please don't take it so seriously. It's just a video game. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, I've only got one life left already. Shoot, they're crazy. You miss me, big. Help me. I love I love that chick that's that that sexy chick in the red that has the gun. She's my favorite. Just as deadly in looks as she is in in, in uh with her gun. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be going back to eat at the Chin restaurant in a hurry. I just, just, just a guess. I don't want to die. Well, I'm trying to save everybody, but I'm pretty terrible at this don't game, everybody. I ended up getting an extra life, I think. All right, cool. <laughs> and Alan says I better not shoot his favorite cook. 
Yes. I, uh... Yes, I, I, I quite like my beef and black bean sauce. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, we're in the subway now. Crisis averted. Damn, we're, we're doing a lot better in this level than we did in the first one. The first two levels in this are playable, but it's so freaking hard to... Ah, damn. Oh, well. There we go. Oh, no. Is that what it is, Josh? <laughs> All right, everybody. Let, let's play the next game. Let's, let's spin the wheel again. That was fun. Thank you for watching. It was cool. We got a good few minutes out of that. Guys, Steve just dropped a very generous 100 stars before. And uh, we need a game beginning with X. And while you're thinking of a game beginning with X... Uh, let me uh, remember to thank Steve. Sorry that I missed that, my guy. This is for you. Thank you, my brother. Really appreciate that. Forgive me for missing your very generous stars, homie. We got one for Xevious, one for X-Men, two for X-Men, uh, three for Xevious, uh, three for X-Men, four for X-Men, there's no such thing as only Steve. That's incredibly generous, my guy. A xenophobe, X-Men's winning by a country mile. All right, X-Men it is. X-Men it is. I should have I should have known X-Men was going to win. And uh, all right, guys, let me take a pee before I play this game. I'll be right back. Oh. I'm probably going to use uh, Colossus today. Welcome to die, X Men. We've got nine lives here. We'll use uh, we'll use Colossus. Colossus. In the yeah, I feel better. I'll be able to go to all the end of the stream now. It's just all that coffee and water was starting to back up a little bit. Welcome to die, X Men. Welcome to die. He's a little bit sluggish, but I like how strong he is. <clears throat> the only character I don't like using in this game, or in most games, in actual fact, is Cyclops. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Cyclops. And then uh, and e Eric says, add a coin. Okay, Eric, thank you very much. I will. That might almost be enough to beat the game. So uh, you don't have to add any more than that. One at the absolute most. So just wait and see. But my guy, thank can you, you Eric. I can dig it. Can you dig it? You're probably, we're probably going to get to the last can level with this many lives. It? So uh, yeah, this is probably going to work out pretty well. Thank you, Eric. Eric with a big 250. As I said, just, just be careful not to add too many credits as well, because someone can pay to change the game at any time. But I don't see why they do that in X-Men, but uh, you just never know. The option's there. That wasn't Steamboat, that was uh, Bolo Yong. Oh, hang on, wait, what did I do? Which which screen did I play? Oh, can you dig it? Oh, I thought I did the Bloodsport one. No, that was from the Warriors. That was That, that was Cyrus. That was Cyrus from the movie Warriors.
I hope you end up enjoying it, Tommy. I don't even need to use uh, the special on this. I'm just going to bank them up. Oh, that was from uh, Liar Liar, wasn't it? I love Liar Liar. I oh, don't feel dumb, Woody. I am just mean, fuck, you know now. And it's all good. It's okay. When playing two-player Colossus with either Wolverine or Nightcrawler is the best. I mean, they're my three go-to characters in this. It's funny that you say that. They're, they're the only three characters I generally like to play with uh, within this game. So, yeah. How you going, Jeffrey Willyman? Welcome back in, man. How are you feeling today, brother? Colossus walks like Steven Regal. Man, I tell you what, Steven Regal was a unique cat. But I, I always enjoyed watching him. You know what I want to make as a thank you screen as well? You remember when Steven Regal was in WWE for a short amount of time in 1998? And he had the Who's Our Man gimmick? We, we need to totally uh, do that as a donation screen. So when someone drops some big uh, dick energy on the stream... I could come up with Steven Regal in a construction helmet and it'll be like, who's a man? There you go. That, that's like the ultimate compliment. <laughs> Steven Regal. Hey, we got Captain BS in here. Good to see you, brother. How's, it, how's your weekend been, sir? Thank you. Welcome to uh, Arcade Alphabet Soup, my friend. Oh, you were talking about Regal, not not uh, a Seagal, not Regal. Okay, my bad. Well, I was talking about Steven Regal. <laughs> He's our man. It's a shame he let his personal life get in the way of his big push before he retired, huh, man? I, 2008, Steven Regal was epic. Intercontinental Champion Steven Regal. Regal was the tits. It's going... Oh, that doesn't sound massively... Uh... Are you all good, Captain BS? That doesn't sound massively optimistic. I hope you haven't been putting too much on yourself, bro. No one moves a blob, except for one coin only in a minute. I think the blob's just around this corner, isn't he? There he is. Oh, dude, that's cheap. Really? Dude, come on. That is some, that is some fucking cheap shit right there, everybody. That was cheap. That was so cheap. Oh, gosh. I liked when Rock sung to Vicky Guerrero, Biatch, you look horrible tonight. She put on her makeup. <laughs> X -Men, X -Men. We have been taken by Magneto. And so she just asked me, do I feel alright? And I said, no, Biatch, you look horrible tonight. <laughs> Hey you going, don't need me, good to see you. Oh, there you go, Captain BS says he's enjoying a three-day weekend now, that's what's up. Don't you have that? No, I had a different rock screen as a thank you screen.
But yeah, well, what's what's your holiday tomorrow, guys? Well, what, what's the American holiday tomorrow? Yeah, I, I can't even keep up. Well, what holiday have you got tomorrow? Joseph says many hours and money spent on this game. Yeah, d don't we know it, huh? Probably, pro oh, Columbus Day. I didn't realize you still got a holiday for that. That's kind of the equivalent of our Australian Day. That, that's causing all sorts of problems in our country at the moment. Which I will certainly not go into today. Uh, you know what? I do okay, Eric. And, and again, thank you for the extra credit. It, it's uh, it's going to be the difference maker today. That's right, it's Canadian Thanksgiving weekend as well. But I, I'm not allowed to... I was going to go spend uh, time with my friend Marco for Thanksgiving in Canada. And he was like, eh, I'm not your buddy, huh? So I guess, I guess I'm not allowed to now. Yeah, I'm not your buddy, guy. Oh, crap. There you go, this thing doesn't mess around, huh? I usually struggle the most uh, with Wendigo, where I'm going okay this time. It's just hard to get a good position on him. Ah, damn. The collision detection is so cheap on this game. How long is this game? If you're going from start to finish, it's 30 minutes. And thanks to Eric inserting another coin, the chances of getting close to the end of this is actually uh, pretty high today. Pretty, pretty high. Rescue Kitty from the cave. Yes, it's about exactly 30 minutes long. How long have we been in this now for? About, what, 12, 15 minutes? About the halfway point. What's my favourite? Uh, so I like uh, Colossus, uh, Nightcrawler, and then Wolverine's probably number three. I think Cyclops in this is freaking horrible. Dazzler's okay, but Cy the only character I think that sucks in this game, in my opinion, Cyclops. I just think he's really clunky, and you're just wasting quarters. That that's a, that's subjective, of course. But yeah, I, I I can't get the hang of Cyclops. Yeah. Big thank you once again for coming in, guys. As I said, we are one coin only if you're new in here, everybody. It's all about nostalgia with a snile and some new stuff thrown in. Today, we are doing our new weekly show. This is a weekly show. It's called uh, Alphabet Soup Arcade. And basically what happens is we spin on a letter and uh, we got to pick a game from the arcade era corresponding to uh, that letter and... Uh, this is a variety show. It gives you guys an opportunity to not only see your favourites, but some new stuff as well. And, uh, yeah, it's a good time. One of two regular shows that we have now. One is Beater Eat It, and the other one's, uh, 
arcade alphabet soup. So maybe I'll come up with a third one eventually, but we'll, we'll see how we go. Oh, I'm not, I told you don't need me 25. I'm not going to go into it. And then you just ask me the question again. But I'm, I'm not going into it, bro. I said, I, I said, I said I'm not going into it, homie. Yeah, as I said, if it really means that much to you, you can look on Google and, and find out for yourself. It's alright, Josh, my pleasure. Oh, no, do I? I mean, I guess I, if my favourite X-Men, if I had to pick one, probably... Oh. I mean, I, I like Nightcrawler in games, but, uh, like, if we're just talking in movies and TV and stuff... I need some water. Damn! This guy is an asshole. Kind of like your host. There we go, we got him. It looks like she's squatting to do a poop. You must rescue the professor. Now I've got to make sure I don't accidentally walk off the platform because I do that quite often in this game. Dude, that is so cheap. That is some, that is cheap. Look, did you see how many times I got knocked down by those things? That is cheap. WWE. No, I, I tell you what, that's probably one thing that I wish would leave wrestling. I, th I think if, I think if, I think, uh... I think anyone that does the what chant is a brain dead idiot, sorry. <laughs> you're basically hijacking the show without any kind of sophistication. What? There you go, you got a new wrestler trying to get over and, and try to develop their promo skills and then all the fucking brain dead marks in the crowd are going, What? 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 Shut the fuck up, cunt. What? What? Worst thing ever in wrestling. It was funny in 2003 when Austin did it. You guys all need to let it go. What? How you going, Chris? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. You're outside with your German Shepherd Zelda and Mario pellet. Barbecue cooking sausages. That sounds like a good time. Hell yeah, man. I, man, I'd love some barbecue right now. That'd be epic. What? I said I'd love some barbecue. What? With some barbecue sauce. What? Maybe some grilled prawns. What? Shrimp on the barbie. What? Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about you, Alan. I was just bringing up a wrestling topic. My guy. I was, I was not meaning you. I was just bringing up a completely separate wrestling topic. You just left an opening for that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it does kind of sound like he's saying, I don't know, he's either going what or... I don't know, one of them. Did that pepper help? Yeah, it wasn't fun. I sat in the bathroom for probably half the evening after I drank that Big Frank sauce. When does my morning show? We are back on this morning now that the weekend is over from around uh, anywhere between 7.30 and 8 a.m. Uh, US Eastern Time, I come on. It's a bit more informal, but it's between 7.30am uh, and 8am. I, I believe you, Chris. 
You know, now that I'm a grown-ass man who lives by by himself, I appreciate when I can get a home-cooked meal from somewhere. No, it's okay. No, you're good, bro. X-Men. Nice job. Magneto is over there. <laughs> it's all right, Alan. It's all right, Alan. We can still be friends. I just hate it. I absolutely hate it. Because I feel like the intent behind the what chant is to mainly screw up the show now, not not make the show more fun, and that's why I hate it so much. You know, especially when you have an up-and-coming wrestler trying to hone their craft and get over, and, and then they're just being thrown further in the deep end with a what chant. I hate it. I mean, you know what they say: sink and swim. I, I get that. I get that as a point, like sink or swim, but I still hate it. You're a bit of a mark yourself. I mean, look, there's a little bit of a mark in all of us, but I still hate it. Hey, guys, we got Champ in here from Udon Tani. Everyone say hello to Champ. Is it still raining today? My, my girlfriend's been complaining about the rain. Is it still raining today? Although she does like that the, the temperatures cool down. Hope you're doing well, champ. Thank you for coming in. I hope it's a better day today. Not too hot. All right, this is our. This is it, guys. This is our last credit. Thank you again, Eric. We're on our last credit now. Is a mark equivalent? No, a mark is just. Uh, a mark is someone that thinks that they basically know everything about the wrestling show. And they also kind of feel like, uh, they kind of live, live it, it's basically wrestling is their life, they take it way too seriously. I guess that's the biggest way to explain what a mark is, it's a bit hard to define, but the easiest way is probably like someone who takes wrestling way too seriously. You know, like when people come in and be like, so and so just lost, it's an absolute outrage. I'm not watching WWE anymore. I could book a few. That's a mark. Yes, yeah, Whitey Crab. Ah, crap. What's the coldest temperature it gets in Australia? Oh, negative zero if you're in the snowy mountains. We have snowy mountains here, but in my state, where I live, I mean, it's not really going to go. Where I live in Brisbane, it'll never go under, like, zero in the winter time. In the middle of winter, a really cold morning will be anywhere between about two and four degrees Celsius. All right, we got him. Yeah. X-Men, X-Men. Mark is kind of like entitled to... From his asteroid base. Yeah, there's a lot of entitlement with being a wrestling mark. I think entitlement certainly comes into that too, for sure. When, when, when still, when I lived in... Yeah, it does get cold. You see, Townsville, one of those places that gets scorching hot in the summer and cold in the winter. People think everyone, it's, it's, I find it absolutely hilarious that most people still from outside Australia still think most of us live in the outback. Like, that, that, that is just amusing to me. Most of Australia live in coastal cities. Actually, you know what, and, and most Australians have not seen the outback. That, that, that's another hot truth. But most Australians haven't even been to the Outback. I've, I've only been to a country town a handful of times. I stayed in Tamworth for about five days a, over a decade ago, and that was a culture shock. You're originally from the old Broken Hill, right? That, that's kind of Outback, isn't it? Ha! 
that that's like northern and western Australia, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I think they recently, like in the last decade, got their first McDonald's or something. Yeah, we're in the middle of spring right now. Oh, really? That, there you go, David. That's interesting. How you going, JP? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. A broken hill. I'm trying to think. Oh, no. I was thinking of Broom. Sorry, Broom. Bro Broom's a uh, Western Australian place. Yeah, broken. I, I know what you're talking about, vaguely. Yeah, no, I was, yeah, Bro Broom is, um, Western Australia. I got those two confused. Alright, we got a few lives left here. We're at least at the end of the game anyway. Oh crap, I am Magneto, you are nothing. Oh dude. Well, we're gonna get up to the final boss fight with uh, a... You know what? Oh. Alas, that was Mystique, not Magneto. Magneto is in another place. Go. Oh no, Magneto's in another place, everybody. Thank you, Nigel Norris, bro. We'll see you in the morning stream, bro. Thank you so much for coming in. We're probably only going to be here for another half an hour to 40 minutes anyway. We got very close to the end, Eric. I hope you approve of the effort today. Dude, okay. Lamb is massive in Australia. Lamb is actually probably just as big a deal as it is in New Zealand over here, actually. You are nothing. Lamb, lamb is just big in Australasia in general. A lot of, a lot of other countries don't like lamb, but lamb, lamb in New Zealand and Australia is a big deal. A lot of other countries find lamb too gamey, but get, lamb is delicious. Oh gosh, this is gonna be close. Oh, that was freaking close. Oh no! Well, there's no point adding another credit now, guys, because that's the last boss, so I practically beat that game. Thank you for watching, everybody. We practically beat that game. We did a good job. Guys, uh, one more time, if you're enjoying the stream, hit the thumbs up button. Best way to help out for free. We got Jay. So, what's an arcade game that you remember beginning with J, everybody? Go for J. We'll go back to the main screen. J. You'd like to try lamb? Lamb is good. Lamb chops. Lamb kebab. Jackal. There you go. Joust. Jackal. Two for Jackal. Two for Joust. Three for Jackal. Uh, for, okay, J man, why do these games always end up being tied? We're tied for Jackal and Joust. Yeah, we have Arcade Jurassic Park, Joe and Mass, Joust. All right, we're going to do Joust. Joust it is. There's no dip switch to this as well, so we have to play on the standard difficulty. I'm going to warn you guys, I'm probably going to last two seconds on this one today. You, you've picked a very hard game for me. Hope you're doing good, Gil. We got Mr. G's Game Lab in the house. Good to have you, my brother. Yeah, you, you picked a you picked a hard one for me. Hang on. Been so long since I played this. 
Oh, dude, I'm gonna restart. That's not that's not cool. I'm not gonna start with an instant death. That's that's kind of shitty, isn't it? Well, too fucking late now, isn't it, Jason? I do so much better at balloon fight. I really struggle at joust. And look, it's, it's supposed to be a flying ostrich, I think. There we go, there's that. Now we gotta collect the eggs in time so they don't rehatch. Josh, Josh! I really, really appreciate the fi uh, the 1500 stars, but let me just pull up the wheel and uh, have a look here. Um, 1500 is just to change the game, my friend, but to actually request a game is, is 3000, brother. However, Josh, because you didn't understand, I'm going to make an allowance this once because Jackal got pretty even votes anyway. So I'm going to make allowance this once. But remember, a request is 3,000 and just to change the game if it's going for too long uh, is 1,500. But uh, we can do Jackal. That's okay. As I said, since everyone voted for this anyway, we'll make an allowance on the fly. But uh, yes. I, I'm not, it's not, it's not a, I'm not trying to siphon stuff. I'm just trying to keep the engagements fair and, and the show flowing. So that's why I can make some allowances. So, yeah. It's all good. Um. Yeah, all good. Yeah, I try, I try to always be fair. Not, not, so I'm not trying to siphon out of everybody. It's just, I'm just trying to keep the engagements fair for the show. We're going to do this. But yeah, there we go. We, we're we're going to do Jackal now. How you going, Tommy? Good to see you. We'll take, yeah, Payron can pay the extra in cunny taxes. How you going, Mr. Dog Brain? Good to see you. Yeah. The, the re I'll tell you, you could, so the reason we have the 1500 skip the game is if we have a really long game like X-Men. And it also stops people inserting 100 credits. Uh, at a time, just to keep you on one game for three hours. That's why we uh, have set it up this way. David says he'd like to see Animaniacs. You got it, David. Thank you very much for the support. This is for you. Appreciate you. Thank you, my guy. There we go, the Animaniacs. David, thank you for all that you do, my guy. Appreciate ya. Plus, with the amount of support, uh, uh, Joshua has given us. He's banked up some freaking credit there. <laughs> and thank you, Vivano. Thank you for coming. Oh, yes. The glorious Facebook algorithm. It's it's a mystery. I, I've been I've been streaming here for uh, six and a half years, and I still don't know how the freaking algorithm works, to be honest, but we're giving it our best shot. The glorious Facebook algorithm. I burn incense and candles at the Facebook Shrine to appease the algorithm god like every day and it doesn't work. <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess the algorithm god is a false idol. I love this music, it's got a Doctor Who flavour to it. Can you feel the Doctor Who flavour in the music? Or is it just me? I kind I kind of get Doctor Who vibes. Derm 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 derm. I get the Doctor Who vibes. All right, let's let's drop his friends off at the pool. So much harder in the NES version. This one, seriously. Oh my gosh. All right, let, let's drop these kids off at the pool, everybody. Ricky, what's your favorite scary movie if I have one? Oh, there's a lot of great scary movies out there, but Scream has to be up there. The original Scream was a really good scary movie. 
No, it's okay, don't need me, it's all good. Woody says I love Doctor Who. Doctor Who's alright, what's your favourite season? I, I like I like Sylvester McCoy's Doctor Who, and uh, what's his name? The guy with the afro, what's his name again? And then I also liked uh, the mid-2000s one, just because it had uh, Billy Piper in it, and she was eye candy. You know the day and night chick? You are the day, you are the night. You know that chick? There you go, Steve wants to tickle the TARDIS too. Have I seen the sixth one? Ah, uh, I saw the one before, the one, the, la the, one uh, the last screen movie I saw was the one where David Arquette finally got got. There you go, spoiler alert. So I think there's a new one now with that chick from uh, Wednesday Adams. What's her name? The Wednesday Adams chick is in the new one, isn't she? I haven't seen that yet. Oh my gosh, guys, why is it not shooting in the direction I want it to shoot? It's so hard to get an accurate bullet off in this. Say, let's keep going. It's a hard game, everybody. I feel like I feel like I'm fighting the controllers in this. No, not that one. Uh, yeah, Otega, Christina Ritchie was the original one. Yeah, Jen Otega or whatever her name is. Oh gosh. Ricky, I may fall asleep. I'm glad my stream has that uh, effect on you, uh, Jason. I'm glad my stream has that effect on you, sir. That's all right, bro. If you need to go to bed, it's all good. I'll see you next time, Joseph. Thank you for coming in, brother. Oh. Mr. Dogbrain says YouTube shorts have kind of ruined YouTube. Um, it's kind of, it's, t it's turning people into like, uh, Autobots, and what, it, it, yeah, I, shorts, I don't like this short culture, because it just, this is turning into everyone just clicking two seconds, clicking two seconds, clicking two seconds, and, uh, shorts are also making a lot of money for Facebook, but it's taking money out of creators' pockets, and, uh, they really annoy me. Facebook's like, short, 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 shorts. The only person that shorts benefit is freaking uh, Facebook. Doesn't benefit creators. Yeah, I, I used to make... I, I made a couple shorts back in the day that got a million views. And I made 30 cents from them. I made, I made 30 cents from a short that had a million fucking views. Hey, thank you, Facebook. Now, now everyone wants to watch shorts and not actual videos. Oh yeah, that's it, Tom Bate, that's the one. He was also he also had a he was also a guest star in Black Cat, I remember. But yeah, I love I love the Doctor Who music in this. Let's keep going. Thank you, Josh. It's a this is a genuinely hard game. I'm getting very stuck, bro. My apologies. I am giving it my best shot. Oh my gosh. Oh come on! Fucking hell, man. That, that, I had to hold my breath pretty much that whole freaking game. That was nuts. Thank you so much for the 1500, Josh. We're going uh, to spin the wheel again. We got P. P for Panani, everybody. What, what arcade game would you like to see with the letter P? Arcade games with the letter P, everybody. We've already done Pit Fighter, so no Pit Fighter. Uh, arcade games with the leather, letter P. Yeah, I played the NES version, Vanilla. I didn't play the arcade version. It's a completely different game. The arcade version's ten times harder. Uh, Puyo Puyo. Jeez, that's a choice. Pac-Man. Punch-Out. Point Blank. 
Primal Rage, POW, everyone's very sweet. Ah, we got POW requests. We got three for POW, two for Punch Out. POW's winning, two for Pac Man. Two for Primal Rage. POW, all right, we got another one on YouTube for POW. POW it is. POW. Oh, I don't know how long I'm going to last off one credit in this, but uh, everything's on the easy settings, so I can only give it my best shot. Man, this game is epic. Phoenix is a good choice. There we go. It's all right, guys. We got our game. These nuts and these nuts. Oh, crap. Damn, I've almost lost a life already. It's crazy how much damage you take. Look at that. Typical brutally hard SNK game, this one. I can't believe we already got a death already. There's like no forgiveness in this. Man, this is just crazily difficult. And this is on easy difficulty too. Hopefully we can get this gun pretty soon. Man, so unforgiving. Damn, four hits, I know. There we go, shoot fools. At least a gun makes life a little bit easier for, for all of two seconds. Oh, come on! Really? Yeah, I mean, if you want to get any kind of time out of this game, this is one that you need to add extra quarters for. This is an absolute quarter muncher, this game. Absolute quarter muncher. Yeah, that was, that was pretty stupid. Alright, let's go. Yeah. I haven't, Damien. I haven't, actually. I think you get the free knockdown when you're holding the gun, at least. That's okay, we got the free knock- Oh. The fact, well, I'm a little bit disappointed that there was no cash in. I think that would have been the perfect opportunity. So I am disappointed. But let's see what happens. I'm not going to be a cynical asshole about it, but I'm very surprised. Seth, Seth Rollins got beaten to an absolute pulp, and Damien Priest uh, didn't cash in on the perfect opportunity. That makes me feel like he's planted the seeds, and his goal is to actually cash in on Roman. So, uh, I don't know, man, it's crazy. I, I don't know, maybe he's going to cash in on Robin, because you're not going to get Seth Rollins any more vulnerable than what he was after a last man standing match. So, yeah, may maybe he's going to cash in on Roman. And Nightmare says, I swear this game was a blueprint for how hard SNK would make their games later on. You're spot on, I think, bro. Only baby faces announce their cash in, and even they don't guarantee to do it. For you, it's usually only baby faces. Like, why. Like, uh. Like, the most babiest of baby faces only do that. Even, I don't think even Big E did that. So 
Sorry, guys. Ah, there we go. Yeah, Carlito's freaking jacked right now, huh? All right, everyone. That that was uh, P O W. P O fuck off. All right, let's spin the wheel again, everybody. <laughs> yeah, Big E didn't announce it exactly. V. All right, we got another game beginning with V. This is like the third or fourth time we've been on the letter V today. So so far we've done Vendetta. And Vigilante, so three times. So we need another arcade game beginning with V. Already done Vendetta and Vigilante, so this will be a little bit of a challenge. What do we got? Arcade game beginning with V, everybody. One for Virtual Cop, Virtual Fighter. Vanguard. Oh, viewpoint. Jeez, no one can pick the same thing. <laughs> virtual cop, virtual fighter. I think only number one works, but I can. Oh, maybe it's the second one actually. We got a cup, a few for virtual fighter. All right. Virtual fighter. There we go. This should work. I think this is gonna work. And now Virtual Cop's coming in at the end. You guys took too long. Oh, right, who should we pick? I guess we'll pick Lau and see how we go. Maybe the second one doesn't win. Work. Okay, I might have to play the first one. I don't think anyone will mind. I think only the first one works. That's cool. We'll play we'll play the first one. The second one doesn't seem to uh, emulate too well. How you going, Kevin? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great day. Oh gosh, I don't Man, the buttons are so basic. There's only two buttons in this. So I'm trying. I'm trying to learn how to chain combos together. There we go. Yeah, well, Sega brought this out first, and then Tekken was like, anything you can do, we can do better in the rest of history. Oh, it's the Sega. This came out first. This was, this was really, really big uh, for, for like five minutes, and then it dropped off and never really recovered. How you going, Justin? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Great Justin, thank you for coming by. I haven't played Battletoads yet, no. The next game's probably gonna be the last game of the stream, actually. So I, I want I wanna end while the show is pretty hot. Leave you guys wanting just a little bit more, so uh Yeah, we'll keep the show popular and exciting for next week. So think very carefully about your next request, guys. The next request is gonna be the last one and then I'm gonna head to gym. No, this was first. Then Nam Namco was like, anything you can do, we can do better. Oh, look at that. Man, we're on a roll, dude. Fight one. Oh, little ninja fuck. Oh, wow. Damn, I just got shot. 
game just starts to get brutally hard from this point on. Ah! Problem is, I don't know what the buttons are, and you really need to know the combos and all the buttons. Gosh. Oh, that was lucky. He's a little bit tough. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, you motherfucker bitch. Ah, oh, well, I'm dead. That's one credit, everybody. Well, at least you got a quick look at Virtual Fighter. There it is. All right, lucky last spin, everybody. So uh, make your picks count, because this is going to be the last spin of the day. Thank you very much for uh, coming in and hanging out today, guys. Appreciate your company. Hope you've enjoyed the show. This is the lucky last spin. The letter U. Do you guys know... Uh, do you guys know uh, any video games that you want to see beginning with the letter U? U, 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 U. U. Arcade games beginning with U. U, yes. We got uh, UN Defense or we got uh, Undercover Cops. Uh, it's a use a tricky one. UN Squadron uh, as Ultra Fighter, old as Ultra Balloon. Uh, we got one for Undercover fo Cop. JP says spin again. You don't come in here and make up the rules, JP. Do un Undercover Cops. I want to do Uncle Pooh. Wait, was there really an Uncle Pooh? All right, if you want to waste your request on Uncle Pooh. Uncle... Oh, wow, really? What the fuck is this? Looks like a Pac-Man style game. Uncle Pooh. Everybody. Hey, this is your request. So much for ending on a high note. Yeah, well, this is what happens when you got a bunch of man children that want Uncle Pooh. I don't have any poo left. What am I supposed to do without poo? Let's, uh, uh, okay, again. So you only got a limited amount of firepower. All right. You, you can't just shoot indefinitely. Roger that. So, yeah, you have to use this sparingly. You have to use the poo sparingly. That's okay. I'll, I won't make the same mistake again. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I'm conserving the Oh gosh, actually this has turned out to be quite funny by accident. <laughs> oh gosh, Uncle Pooh, there you go, you guys are gonna vote for this again. This is gonna become a tradition, isn't it? I spin on you again, this is, you guys are gonna pick this again. Hey Rick, play more Uncle Pooh. <laughs> This is like a new one coin only tradition. <laughs> only problem is if you look. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. Yeah, I 
Man, we're still on the first level. This first level takes forever. Yeah, Uncle Fiber Therapy. Like, oh. Uncle Fiber Therapy. Alright, let's see where we go now. Where do you go? I think we have to get diamonds. Is it maybe? Oh, there we go, there's another bag. There's that. Ah, uh, so we're gonna get this diamond very quickly. Alright. Oh, come on! I don't know how else to pass apart from getting that diamond. Really? Oh, this game. I'm, I'm okay, I'm kinda over this game already. Let's try it. Let's, you know what? I'll humor everyone. Let's try and get this one more time. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, gosh! All right, there you go, Uncle Pooh. That's our last game. Everyone. <laughs> oh, the fuck did we just play? All right. Everyone, thank you very, very, very much for coming into our show. That was uh, Arcade Alphabet Soup, and that really was a, a lovely adventure through the whole English alphabet. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you so much. I am going to go have a, a, a shower and, and wash the stank off myself after some of those requests and then go to gym. Probably the wrong order. And then... Uh, I will be back on for a morning stream. Thank you for coming in. My friends on YouTube, I'll see you soon. Uh, my friends on Facebook, hang tight here for a second.